Sorry we had a few little kicks in the road and some potholes, but we are back and we will continue to come back because we're strong in the faith. Tonight we have many, many confessions. Probably won't be able to get to all of them, but we're going to give it our best shot. So please stand by for Lee, Tyler, and myself to go over the confessions and see whether you're going to be going to hell or heaven or maybe just going to keep sinning. <laughs> God bless. Stay <laughs> going to hell. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> You know, we were just saying before we started, I wasn't going to put my shirt on, but Jim and I were just comparing notes. You know, I just came from the gym. I was having McDonald's. I was thinking about training, going to a car show. Then as soon as I put, you know, the Devil's Work shirt on. Sorry. Hello, Baxter. We love you. As soon as we put the shirt on, I started to get visions already. Like, I don't even know what the confessions are, but I'm already seeing someone duct taped under the building being finger popped in the anus and I haven't even heard the confessions yet but the Lord the Lord is already sending me these visions Jimmy well you know it's funny you say that because I also put the shirt on the cloth we want to say mm. what it is and uh, so you're saying you weren't going to do the show tonight and you were going to go to no, I was going to do the show but I was going to do it without the shirt because you know sometimes oh. when I oh. put on the last few shows it's yeah. been really taking me down into the bowels of hell and the visions I've been getting haven't been good. And yeah. I have to tell the people, and some people think, well, Lee, that's harsh, but yes. I just have to talk about what I see. So I thought I wasn't going to put the shirt on just so my visions or whatever might have been a lot nicer, but I thought, no, I can't do it. And then as soon as I put it on, I started getting visions already ready of like anal rapey and stuff. So I'm not sure what's coming up, but I know someone hasn't told the whole truth. Well, I have to I have to elaborate on your story, Lee. So yeah. I also customized my shirt. I don't know if you I like notice it. it. I like it. You know, yes. I, because you know it's the summertime now, and you know, I got I got to show the the, the, the guns yeah. a little bit, you know. And uh, you got to you got to show the arms that will carry them to heaven, Jimmy. I got I got to show the people the strength that I could carry them, yeah. you know, out of their sins and up the ladder yes. into the clouds, you know. But I have mm -hmm. to say, I when I put this shirt on tonight and I was in my kitchen cutting the sleeves, you know, and I didn't have any visions. Yeah. And then I slipped it on. And all of a sudden, yeah. I, st mm. I started, like, like like you said, Lee, I didn't, you know, Tyler has the confessions. They're all uh, yeah. emailed in. I didn't know what any of them were, but I was getting a bad vibe as, mm. as, as I was putting on the cloth. And I, and I, I saw, uh, I, 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 it's really crazy. I saw some guy sitting on the ground and he had his lazola over a cinder block oh. and he was whacking it with a what? hammer because he was trying to redeem himself of what he did with his oh, wife. Wow. It's like so he funny. cheated yeah. on his wife with his with the, her sister and mm. to redeem himself he was whacking his shazola on the cinder yeah. block, and uh, it was. That's a, some it was old a, I, I, I had I had to slap myself a few times mm. to get out of that vision, but uh, here I am, lo and behold. And uh, I bet I bet that will come up later in one of the confessions. It'll, I bet we'll you know. it doesn't. I yeah. bet you it does. We'll it's know which right one in. it is. We'll know which <laughs> one it is. <laughs> it's a very old testament <laughs> vision. Oh yeah, yeah, because mm. that's what they did in the old days, you know. Yeah. They, you know when yeah. they uh, they they stoned people and they oh yeah and they, you know and they cut their even uh, if they do say all the words yeah. Yeah. Them, yeah. oh Moses yeah they got they used the, to Moses have... got the tablets together with the Ten oh, Commandments and started right. slamming the clock in the middle <laughs> absolutely yeah. <laughs> so, there him. you go Jimmy there's a show for you on Netflix I started watching it last night wait a minute hold it what don't say nothing Moses yes <laughs> <laughs> I started watching it. There you go. I was going to come on and be smart and start talking about Moses' two kids, but I forgot their names already. <laughs> <laughs> I actually start. I'm up to the part where he he went into Egypt uh, to the Pharaoh, which is actually his uncle, and uh, he and, and he let. And it, I'm up to the bit where, not far past that, where he said, "Let the slaves go," and then he got ostracized and left. Right. Yeah, not not long after, he told him to let the slaves go or something. Yeah. Then he started his own little group. 
Yeah, I didn't get to that part yet. I got to the part where he he sat down with the Pharaoh yeah. and he was discussing, uh, he wanted three days in the desert. And mm -hmm. the Pharaoh said, listen, you might be their blood, but you're Egyptian. You were raised here in mm -hmm. royalty. He goes, let's let's find the middle ground. So he gave him two days. That's where I left off. It's like that so, Disney movie, The Prince of Egypt. Is it like The Prince of Egypt? Well, he said he's the prince of, he's a prince, wasn't he? Well, yeah, he was, yeah, because he was... Uh, the I mean, he's from so, Egypt, so he's the prince of Egypt. Most he, Disney movies well, he is the prince. Yeah, you know, and then he, he actually murdered one of the guys who, uh, you know, beat the slaves up and stuff. He actually, yeah, that's I know, saw that. But yeah, that's when he did that. That's when after he did that, that's when he fled the city because you never right. saw that bit yet where he tells him to free the slaves and the guy says something to him, so he beats yeah. him in the head with the rock. Well, he gave him an attitude, like he told him to stop yeah. beating the slave. And then he yeah. turned around and looked at him like, uh, and I was saying to myself, I don't think they acted like that in those days. Because if a prince of Egypt came up to you and said, stop doing what you're doing, mm. you would probably just stop and bow your head. You yeah. know what I mean? Because, you wouldn't yeah, argue yeah, back now. Yeah, because they, they'll take your head off without even blinking an eye. So he was a little belligerent, that guy. I was like a little yeah. uh, on the fence with that in the script. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, so he, he did defy him a little bit. And then when he when he turned around, he kicked the slave again. And that's yeah. when uh, Moses, uh, you know, took the rock to his head and bashed yeah. his skull in. Yeah. yeah. But God still made him the messenger, even after yeah. all of that, you know. Still let him part the seas and wander the desert for fucking 40 years with cunts following him. <laughs> yeah, they, they I, I, I got to get imagine? to that. So I got to. So what's what's nice about the movie, if people are going to watch it. Is that uh, you know as Moses as the movie kind of plays, uh, you get the uh, the the. the well, it's not really people. a movie; it's a documentary because you it's, have it's, like those yeah right scholars it's, on there talking about Moses as well. It's right, like, so it's a documentary. You get to see a little bit, you know, of the of the reenactment, yeah. but then you get the scholars that uh, they they chime in and they uh, talk yeah. about uh, you know. I, I it's very interesting. I I've learned a lot already about the Moses story. You know, I like it. I really do. And, and, you know, it kind of goes along with what we do here. You know, we try to uh, keep... What, what are you eating, Lee? Sausage and egg McMuffin. Man, you're making me hungry. I got to break out a pretzel. All right. So, you know, anyway, that being said, I, I, I do recommend that uh, that Netflix uh, series to people out there. If you you don't even have to be religious, if you're just curious about the Old Testament and Moses. Little, yeah, a little Old Testament curious. It's yeah, it's Old Testament, and uh, you know it's uh, it's also uh, Muslim, you know it's Arabic, you know it's mm -hmm. it's, in the, it's in the Quran, you know the Moses story. So, so if you're a little Quran curious, yeah, if you're right, if you're a little. <laughs> did you um, did you end up watching Moonfall, Jimmy? No, not yet, because what happened? I ran across the Moses thing, and uh. then I, I, I then I got wrapped up in it. I was just I was laying in bed, you know, just watching it, and uh, I started really liking it. I really did. Excuse me for a pretzel. Lee's making me hungry. Yeah, this is our dinner time. You know, we we take the time out <laughs> of our lunging. life. You know, we take time out of our life, <laughs> dinner time, to actually do this and help the people and mm. go over their sins. Speak you know, for yourself. Even, I even, wish the, I had even the hour, the hour of right our, our, our what was that time? I said, speak for yourselves. I wish I had. The Vatican didn't send me any food to stuff in my face for this episode. You're fasting for this episode because you're going to uh, be. Because oh, I'm so one of the lower, mm. lowering. Next Friday, I will be in Florida. Uh. And uh, if we do the show, I will do I'm going to bring my cloth. And uh, I'm going to see the show. I, w I don't know if I'm going to have time, but. I, well, I'm gonna see Jimmy, you can if you need a rest, if you need to take a break overnight in Tallahassee, you know, all this about six and a half hours still away from Fort Myers, so it's a good rest point. I got the guest room. Who's <laughs> coming to see who's coming to see me in Asheville, Tennessee? Oh shit, you're gonna be in Tennessee? No, in June, I, 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 the fitness I, who, expo. Who's gonna wait a minute, hold on now. What, what's happening in Tennessee? Fitness expo, S Force Watchers, I'll be there. In June for the fitness expo in oh, you're gonna Nashville, be there? Tennessee. Yeah. Oh. Nashville's a cool place. I'm not telling you, Jimmy. You you get my hopes up. I tell you, you what. I won't say anything. How about that? All right. If okay. I come, surprise it, me. It'll, it'll surprise be, me. Right. Exactly. It'll, it'll, right. Exactly. Because I'll I give you all the info. I'll give I, you the hotel. I'll give you the info, the dates, and just surprise me. 
I, I got to be honest with you. I did see the advertisement for that, uh, and I was like, "Wow, Tennessee! That's not, you know, I could fly down here. That's not that that bad." Yeah, you know I mean? we can go to the we can go to the Blues and Ribs and eat. That's on a weekend, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know Tennessee. Baby. And then I'm hoping I'm hoping when I'm there, because um, is it Dave going to be there? The too? gym. No, the gym might want to look. Excuse me, launch their new products up at a pole on gym. So I'm hoping while I'm there, the, the people that are flying me over, if they change the return ticket, the guy from a pole on gym hopefully might fly me up to New Jersey, Jersey? for a week. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. I just won't I stay thought, at that shit hotel again I, I, where I got in trouble for. I thought I saw in the advertisement that Dave was going to be appearing there. Um, it said, Meet Dave Palumbo at the. Uh... No, that's probably at the Olympia, is it? Or. No, I think it was in Tennessee. I'll have to ask Is him. Is it? I haven't seen it. I'll have to ask. He's probably mad at me right now because I didn't go on the show today. I was very tired, Dave, if you're watching this. <laughs> I told him. I said, Jimmy will be sleeping, getting ready for the convention. I was very tired. I mean, I came home. I had to take two Advils, yeah. lay on my cot. Very bad. I didn't even take my clothes off, boots and all. Just yeah, right he on the, started right rough on. last week. Yeah, I, I, you know. And then I lost my license and my... Uh, uh, the other night, I don't know what happened. Uh, a bill came in, and I, I freaked <laughs> out. And I had I was at my desk, and uh, they 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 there was a charge, and they canceled my card. Oh. You know, so I mean, I have another card and credit cards and all, but I got a little pissed off because I'm leaving, you know, next week, and I need I want I need my stuff, you know. What I mean, so right. anyway, I was trying to. Uh, you know, talk to the bank and blah, blah, blah. And I got really upset and I, I, I just got home right. and make a long story short, I had my sweatpants on as I got out of my clothes. Mm. And then I called my brother and I was screaming and ranting to my brother, you know, about the, how daddy's bastards canceled my card and all this, you know, seven days till I get another one. And I was, I was really upset, you know? So anyway, make a long story short, I, I, I just finally I went to bed and then I got mm. up, you know, then I got, I got up at 12 because we go to the gym now at one thirty in the morning. And uh, all of a sudden, I get up and I'm checking my jeans, and there's no there's no cards. And I'm like, where the freak is my cards? And I'm going ape shit. I'm looking in the office, in the floor, in my bedroom, in the bathroom, in the toilet. I'm looking at the drawers. I'm looking at. The I went out of the street. I took the garbage out. I actually took all the garbage bills and the bags out of the car. <laughs> and I was taking a knife and I was cutting all the bags open, and I was throwing garbage all over the street. And I had the the flashlight. I'm going through all the garbage all over the place, right? And all of a sudden, this this just pickup truck happened to pull up, and he was playing Spanish music across the street. I don't know who this guy was. I don't even think he belonged in the neighborhood. But they were sitting there, and they were watching me i had no shirt on i had shorts on and i'm <laughs> ape shit with the garbage right this is 12 30 at night Lee, right so <laughs> all of a sudden i heard the music i heard the music you know go down you know because they were probably looking at me saying man this thing goes crazy man look at this guy i was going with ape shit I was, I was looking for food in the garbage yeah like, right I, maybe, maybe I, was like, <laughs> I, right. Screaming. I was I was like some homeless guy going through the garbage like looking for yeah i, I just like, i would right? ignore i would stay clear yeah so finally they, they just left you know they were like they, they, yeah because it was probably a disturbing call. it was a disturbing scene i have to admit <laughs> you, had, you, had, you had your little uh, boxes on didn't you jimmy I had my little boxes on, yeah. My little jiggles were, <laughs> were flapping around, and the and the things there, and all you know, the package was, was waving in the wind. And you know, these guys were watching me because they, I know they were watching me because they turned the music down. And they were just sitting there, yeah. and uh, I don't know what they were they doing. Might have, they anyway. might have been pulling pulling the shazola watching you. Oh, who knows what they were doing? You know, I was I was half naked, but I was so upset I didn't even care. Just the whole group there. just pulling you all know, their shizzles, just it was, watching. Yeah, it, it was you know, windy and dark and twelve thirty. They were night. playing. They were playing. I got, a, foggy, I got this big ass knife cutting the garbage bags open. I, I, look, I look like a maniac. I look like a maniac. <laughs> you know, they were playing soggy taco to see. You know, like the biscuit one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who who last puts the aioli sauce on the taco has to eat it. <laughs> oh. <man. laughs> Anyway, to finish up the story, I went inside. I got dressed. I said, "You know what? Freak it." Man. Did you find I, I, him? I didn't find it. 
So you know what happened? Check the Jeep. They probably slipped out of your pocket down the side. Of the Lee, I checked the, the Jeep, the bathroom, my bed. I actually went in my sheets under the covers like this, like a blind man, checking under the sheets and all this. I I checked the drawers. I checked the, my office, the floor. Are they the are bed. they under the fruit? Are they under the fruit bowl on the counter? Slipped under a. I doily. looked under the fruit. I got a candy bowl on the counter. I looked in the candy bowl. I even looked inside my boots because sometimes I put stuff in my boots like an idiot, like a watch or money. I do I do that. But uh, nothing. So I just got in a car. I got dressed. I went to work. And then when I was at work, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute. I had on my sweatpants that night. I said, I bet you they're in the, they're in the sweatpants. They got to be there. So all day I was just thinking about sweatpants. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a maniac. I, I'm like a dog yeah. that, that chews on a wound. Like I you want to go yeah. home right away just to see. I wanted to go home. You know, I, you know, so I, I just was like all day. I was like going like a maniac driving like 75 miles. It's like, I, wonder I, if I, I have get... a friend. I wonder if I have a friend who could go to my house and check him for me and let me know because I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. I thought about calling my brother, John. But you know what? I said, you know what? I want to find it. I don't want nobody finding my shit. I, I have to find it because I don't trust nobody. So anyway, make a long story short, I finally got home. I I, 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 didn't, I didn't go right away to the drawer for the sweatpants. I went in the bathroom. I was doing number two. I said, let me get everything out. You know, make sure. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Yeah, I, and, and taking a shit, guess what happened? The credit cards come out. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. <laughs> so after I did my business, I got up, I went in my bedroom, I opened the drawer like this, nice and easy, right? And I see the sweatpants sitting there. And I go, you son of a bitch. And I went like this, and I grabbed the sweatpants, and there they were in the pocket. I was so happy, man. My license, credit cards. Uh, People are going to go, Jimmy wore sweatpants and then fold them back up and put them in the drawer again. I did. I took them off and I and I gave them like one quick fold, right? And then I grabbed them by the legs and I just threw them, in them up and I threw them in the drawer. So, so I didn't feel the pockets or anything. Was, that's the way I did it, you know. But anyway, I found it. Thank God I got everything, man. I was pissed off, man. So anyway, make a long story short. I called my dentist. Did I tell you this, Lee? I, I have to confess. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is a good story. This one. I, 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 call, I, I said, I got to start getting my teeth fixed, man. I can't, you know, then I had like this little white mark over here. And I got a little pain over here and I got a black, to you know, I, I'm like, you know what? Sometimes I get head pains. I'm like, maybe I'm getting the poison, you know, in my brain. Cause you know, you could, you could, you could mm. die from a bad tooth. Yeah. So I, 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 I call up, I call up the lady and I said, listen, this is uh James Pelletti. I said, I, I, I want to make an appointment, you know, she says, oh, well, you, you know, you're not really, you know, they, you know, the doctor don't want to see you. I told you this, right? I said, the doctor don't want to see me. I said, what do you, what do you mean you don't want to see me? I said, I'm a patient. She says, well, you know, you, you've had procedures and uh, you haven't been here in a long time and you were supposed to come back and you didn't come back. And, and uh, didn't you go out? Didn't you go to the out East office? I said, I ma'am. I says, I never been to the out East office. I live in Huntington. You're in Hicksville, 15 minutes away. Why would I go out east to the other? I don't even know where the other office is. I said I just want to get my teeth fixed. I, I says, can I come in? She goes, well, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the, the doc. She goes, let me call you back. Let me let me talk to the doctor. So she never called me back. The next day I called up. I says, yeah, uh, Jeannie. Yeah. I said, this is James Belletti. I said, what happened with the doctor? Did you talk to him? Yes, I spoke to him. Oh, good. What did he say? He doesn't want to see you. I said, he doesn't want to see me. <laughs> I said, what the hell is that? I said, what did we, what did we, did we break up? I said, I, I don't, I don't I, this, is, this is my dentist for years. What do you mean you don't want to see me? I don't even understand this. She says, I'm sorry. You know, I, I said, no problem. So I waited a couple of days and then one day I went down here. Oh, I shit. right in there. Go, I, walked, yeah, I had, I wanted to look at person. the, I wanted to look at this devil in the eyes. You need the, what do you hey, call it? The speak closure. about my father. Like give, me the, give me the music. Yeah. So I, I walk in and she's sitting at the desk and she don't know who I am. And I walk up to the desk. And I go, uh. Jeannie? She says, yes. I said, this is James Belletti. Oh, mm. oh, oh, James Belletti. I said, yes. <laughs> the, one that you, the one that you excommunicated out of this office. <laughs> she says, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, you, know, you don't know what I'm talking about? You said you told me that you don't want to see me anymore. You guys booted me out of here. I don't understand it. I want to know why. And I want to see the doctor right now. She said, well, let me look at the computer. And she's tapping away, you know. Give me your birthday. I said, yeah. And what happened? She says, oh. She says, you're just a, a non-active non-active or inactive i said so so how do i i don't even i never even heard anything like that how do i get active she goes just gotta make an appointment i says well well give me an appointment 
So she gives me the appointment, right? I said, thank you. I leave, right? Two, three weeks go by. I get a phone call the day before the appointment. Jeannie. She says, hi, James Palachak. I go, yeah, hi. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? She goes, you're coming in tomorrow at 3.30? I said, yes, I am. Okay, you got to you gotta go online and fill out a new form, a new patient form. <laughs> I said, listen, I ain't going online. I said, I don't do online. I said, I'm no good at it. I got patients. I said, I'm not doing online. I said, and how, why am I a new patient? I said, I've been seeing uh, 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 him a long time. She says, well, you used to go to the other office. I said, I never been to the other <laughs> office, Jeannie. What are you talking about? She goes, well, you had procedures done here and you never came. I said, here we go again with this. I said, I never had procedures. I never went out east. I, I always go to the Hicksville office. I'm not a new patient. I'm not filling out a new patient form. Do you hear me? She goes, well, you know, you had many patient work. I said, what did I have? She goes, you have all cement teeth in the front. I said, I do. I have cement teeth in the front. She says, yes, you have cement teeth and you had all kinds of uh, uh, implants and, uh, you know, posts and you never came back. And as a matter of fact, she says, you were in collections. I said, I'm in collections? I said, let me ask you something. Every time I go to the dentist, I pay right at the desk when I leave. I said, how much are you? And I pay whatever the hell it is. I said, now you tell me I'm in collections? Oh, well, she goes, you paid it. I said, I paid collections? I paid it off? She says, yeah. I said, listen, you're clearly talking about somebody else. I said, <laughs> she goes, look, just, just come in tomorrow. She goes, let's not talk about this. And I said, I'm not talking about it. You're talking about it. I said, I just want to come in and get my teeth done. She says, I right, calm down. She says, come in tomorrow at 3.30. So I go in the next day. I did see you show him your cement teeth? I did. So I walk in and I go, hi, Jane. She says, James Bletcher? I go, yeah. I go, look at my teeth. I said, do they look cement? I said, these are my natural teeth here. You see me cement in my teeth? She goes, I look, I don't want to get into this. I said, well, I want to see the doctor right now. So he came out of the office and he was with a patient. And he's like, oh, James, how you doing? I says, yeah, how you doing, doc? <laughs> I says, uh, what's all this business about collections and cement teeth and procedures and, <laughs> and the Audi is I said, he goes, look, he goes, forget all that. It was probably a, a mistake. He said, you know, I said, good. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear all this bullshit about cement teeth and procedures and, and all the money and collections and all this shit. I just want to get my teeth fixed. And that was it. Someone, you someone, you someone your stole your identity, Jimmy, and went in the dentist as you. The lady showed me the sheets. She goes, is this you? I said, yeah, that's me. James Valencia. Is this your date of birth? I said, yeah, that's my date of birth. I said, well, I don't give a shit what you're showing me. I said, none of that shit is me. I said, I don't care what's on that paper. My name, my date, my my, my that's all size. I don't care what's that's on that paper. Size. I said, that's not me. I'm not, I, I, I wasn't in collections. I didn't pay collections off. That's it. I don't want to hear about this shit. No more. Yeah, someone, someone must have used your name, but I just put someone else's file under your name. I, I I I was like a, it was like a nightmare. It was like a twilight zone. I I was <laughs> I was being accused. For James something James Fletcher, you were in here not long ago for child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's insane. It's insane. Anyway, that was my story. So crazy, crazy. I, have, I had another one, but I forgot it. <laughs> but did, they, did they, the dentist see you when you were there that day to fix your teeth? He did. So yeah. I had a I had a, a loose tooth on the bottom here. I got this knocked out with a rock when I was very young. Yeah. I had a, a rock fight with my cousins yeah. right across the, the driver from each other. We're wailing rocks at each other. Mm -hmm. I hit my cousin in the forehead and I was laughing and then I got cracked in the teeth and I lost the bottom tooth. It was my second tooth. So I got this fake. Yeah, I know. We were crazy. So I got this fake tooth glued in there, you know, and it's been there for years. You know, it started coming loose. So he fixed that and he looked at all the other teeth, took a bunch of x-rays. I paid on the way out, and I'm going back uh, at the end of next month for uh, the first implant. That's you know? like one of my veneers on the bottom there when I was cleaning my teeth after I went to the dentist came off. And if anyone knows, when you get veneers, your old teeth, original ones under it, they sort of shave them down, and they make them look like they're all jagged, like real fucking monster teeth. So when it came off, I had this real sharp, jagged tooth. They had to wait like a day to get it, the thing put back on. I figured if any of these fall off, I'll have a mouth like a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, man? Well, you know, when my mother passed away, this is how long I've been without these teeth. My mother's gone almost 10 years, and, and I was over her house, you know, when she was alive. And I was talking to her and smiling, laughing. And she's like, Jimmy. I said, yeah, ma. 
She goes, when are you going to get your teeth fixed? <laughs> I'm like, soon, ma, soon. But I'm, I'm, I'm the biggest procrastinator on uh, the earth. Oh, really? I'll, I'll, get, I'll get my teeth done when I go to Florida and see Dave. <laughs> yeah. you know, and Here it on. is, like, you know, <laughs> nine years later, ten years later, yeah. and I'm just starting to do it now. I'm, I'm, I'm out of my mind, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I get it. You're preaching to the cho- you're No pun intended, you're preaching to the choir because I really need to get my ass to the dentist. And uh, I'm way over yeah. here. Out of all places, you hate dentists. Even when they just it go sucks. clean, even cleaning them when they sometimes have to numb them and they get that pick in between your teeth and they're yanking oh, on it, they going under your gums. And even when they numb it to do a filling, I'm always waiting for them because a couple of them have, when even though they numb it, they'll hit the nerve and you're like, Ugh. It's oh, like, God. Imagine the old days when they didn't have all the stuff to knock you out. You actually had to, like in the Western times, when they just rip them out and you have the nerves. And, Man. My mum went. My mum yeah. last week. My mum went and got a skin cancer cut off her nose last week here, and she's like me. You have to give us a lot of shit to knock us out. They numbed all the nose what they're supposed to have, and when they started cutting, she's like, "Oh, they're like, can you feel it?" She's like, "Yeah." So when they started cutting her nose open, she could feel it, and then she could feel it when they stitched on the outside and inside. So they had to give her more stuff to numb it yeah. more. But when they started slicing, she's like, oh, and then she could feel it. She has like a hot Whoa. stinging feeling. You know, Lee, I'm the same way. When they do my tooth, they got to do Novocaine shot after shot after yeah. shot. After, and they gave me so many injections, my left eyeball wouldn't move anymore. Yeah. It was it was, it was was numbed, you know? I'm the same. I'm the same. When I had my four wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah, I had to get those. Like, if I go for operations, they've got to give me a lot of stuff. Because I've woken up in one, and I started making jokes, but they put me back under. But when I had my four wisdom ripped out at once, he's sitting there, and he's talking to me. He's got his hand on the gas bottle. He's like, so what else you doing? Yeah, yeah. And then what do you do? Yeah, and then there, uh, and then uh, he finally, I'm finally must have went out. He said when I was yeah. leaving, I was going down the hallway running, saying I'm Superman. But when I came, when I came <laughs> back, he's came like, <laughs> yeah. So when I came back a couple of days later, just for the checkup, he's like, he goes, man, he goes, I'm surprised you're still not asleep. I said, why? He goes, he goes, you wouldn't shut the fuck up. He goes, I had to give you enough to, to knock out an elephant. He goes, you just kept talking, and then when you finally did go out. Your tongue was still fucking doing this in your mouth <laughs> when I was trying to get your teeth out. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Lee, I, I have another confession. Oh, yeah. This was very embarrassing. This is probably oh, one of the most embarrassing. What was that? A good one. Did you get a hard on at the dentist? No, this is at the, 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 <laughs> at the, at the this is at the walk-in center, right? So, yeah. it's a very embarrassing. I was very, I was mortified. I have to tell the story. Please. More than, more than doing the poo sample. It was worse than that. Oh. Worse. Oh no. The poo sample. I was by myself, getting crap all over me. This is a oh. whole different. I was in an office. With you weren't. You weren't. You weren't getting your um, sperm checked, were you, Jimmy? No, I wasn't getting the sperm checked, but I got <laughs> to do that too. But anyway, I wasn't feeling good, so mm-hmm. I went to a medical center. You know, I thought I had the COVID. So I walk in. They said, "Why are you here?" I says, uh, I, I got it. I got it. I, I, I think I'm sick. I think I might have COVID. I want to check. Was, it, was this last week, Jimmy? Yeah, it was last week. Yeah. I told yeah. you. Yeah. So the guy says, the, the girl says, well, how, why do you think you have COVID? I said, well, I can't taste. I can't smell. I said that usually that's what I've had it three times. I, and I feel weird. I said, I think I have COVID, you know, I said, can we just check the, you know, to see, she goes, yeah, sure we can. She goes, uh, just, you know, scan the, uh, there's like a, or those, what are those RQ codes with it's like, yeah. a, it's like a, you know, QR she goes, yeah, a QR code. Yeah. She goes, just scan that and, you know, fill out the, the form. You know, I'm like, wait a minute. I said, what happened to the kiosk? They used to have these things that stand up and you just type in your name, the date of birth, the, you know, all yeah. of a sudden, you know, it's all like on a, on a, on a little computer thing. Right. Yeah. I said, I, I, I can't, I can't scan this QR. I said, how do, how do I do that? She goes, just go on your camera. Yeah. And scan it. It was a young, uh, younger girl and a, and, a, and a young guy at the desk, right? Yeah. And then there was a, a an older woman uh, sitting down in the office with a couple other people, but uh, she she looked, uh, you know, she was well dressed, short hair, you know, looked like a nice lady. Mm-hmm. So I scanned the queue, and then I go sit down, and now I'm trying to go on the application <laughs> with the, and I'm and I'm typing in, and all of a sudden the thing just disappears, right? I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like, what the hell happened to the, what happened to the freaking thing? I said, well, I said, I got to do this again. So the lady across from me says, are you having trouble, sir, with your, with your, I said, yes, I am. I said, I can't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like a dinosaur when it comes to this stuff. She says, Dude, I could help you if you want. Aww. I said, I would love that. I said, that's just so very nice. nice. Thank you. Very yeah. nice. 
Very, very mm-hmm. nice lady. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. She goes, you have an iPhone? I says, yes, of course. She says, come on. Here, <laughs> yes, of course. But, but of course I do. She went into Jimmy's photos. No, no. Worse. Worse. No, worse. Oh, no. <laughs> worse than the photos. Oh, no. <laughs> she takes the thing and she goes on uh, Safari. Right, and she said, oh, well, you no, know, not, 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 your search, "Not your search history." Yeah, I had no idea. I don't know. I didn't oh. know you can do that. <laughs> Are you so serious? She, I swear. So she says, "All you got to do is tap this. It looked like two offset boxes." She says, mm. "Just tap that, and you get the history, and and we could just click back on the application." I said, "Oh, okay, that's great." <laughs> she clicks it. The first thing that popped up was a, a broad on the bed with a head hanging off the, the bed with, his, no. with, this, with this black male with his huge penis Jimmy. in her mouth, right? And she's looking right at it. No! It, it, was, a, it was a porno, right? Yeah. So, she oh, says this to me, poor woman. This is, that's what you look, get for helping a stranger. She's looking at it. And she goes, oh, my God. She goes, I, I can't get it. I can't get involved with this. And she's handing my phone back. And she goes, please, take it away. I can't. And she was getting all insane. irate. You know, this is right in the office. Everybody's hearing her. She goes, just take it. I, I can't. I, me and my husband, we we, we, we got divorced over there. He used to watch porno. I can't get it. I said, look, you're not getting involved in the porno. This is my porno. I said, you're not getting involved in the porno. It's my porno. I said, that's probably a year old. Meanwhile, it was the first thing that popped up, right? So yeah. she, said, she said, please, I, I can't. Please. I said, all right, guys, give me the phone. Don't, don't worry about it. You know, so I go back to the desk. I said, listen, you guys got like a hard copy I can fill out here. I can't do this over here. I, I'm done with this shit, I said, you know. So the phone Look at me, they got their heads out. I go, Oh, you too? I said, Why? You guys never watch porno? I said, You know, me, watch this office full of people. I go, Why? Nobody watches porno? Well, I'm the only oh freak that God. watches porno. Don't tell me nobody watches porno. Everybody oh, watches porno. I, don't give me that. Down. Don't give I'm me that shit that you don't watch porno. I said, that. That. <laughs> Guy gives me the form. He goes, Here, yeah, man. He goes, Just sit down, Phil. Just, Just sign this. I, I, I signed the fucking paper. I give it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. And then the, the, the girl got up. She walked away. And then the guy comes out in the back and goes, James Valencia. I said, the whole place is looking at me like I'm a freaking pervert. Oh, you know, that's the, so the, the, funny. The, I said, I had no I told her, I apologize. I said, man, I'm very sorry about the porno. She says, I can't believe it. I, I can't. I said, listen, I'm sorry. I said, I, I got a thing. She goes, there's 455 of them. I said, well, I'm sorry. I, I, it's probably not 455. I said, there's probably, there's probably other things. There's probably other things involved in there. Also, that I looked up, you know, like flat earth and NASA, you know. She, 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 I said, how do I get rid of him? She goes, you have to go eat each one. You got to hit. I said, I got 455. I got to do it. How do I get rid of my porn, lady? I said, Look at all my porn. I think you could just, just go on. So I think you just go on Google or Safari, whatever, whatever you search on. There should be a little thing that drops down. It just says clear history. You can clear it all with one. I, I hope so. So, so now I'm in the doc. Now, now I'm in. Open. Lee, Tyler. Now I'm in. Now I'm in the office. I'm waiting for the doctor. Right. So now I got my phone and I'm trying to delete, you know, I'm just trying to hit the oh, play. You didn't accidentally hit, hit play and one starts playing. <gasps> no, no. So listen, hold on, listen to this. Uh, well, you know the through, advertisements, I'm, they're just like doing blowjobs on the ads. Oh, the yeah. Side oh, yeah, yeah. Taking it in the And you don't yeah. get hard. Do you want <laughs> so to have you know, a wank and get hard? I'm going through Jesus. each one. I'm hitting the buttons. So I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. <laughs> and then, I, then all of a sudden I go like this, like, like it, I, I, no, that, not, not that one. I said, that was a that was a good one, man. I said, no, man, no, <laughs> no, 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 not that one. So I all of a sudden I hit it. I'm watching the couple. Oh, no. of like I'll never, I'll never find that one again. <laughs> I said, I can't get rid of that one. God damn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, oh, Doc, honey, I did this, I had to do a photo shoot once for a, when I was living in Austin, Texas. The lady come out from the like the big Austin, Texas newspaper to do a story on me. And she's taking the photos in the gym and this and that. And then she comes to my place to take some photos. I'll be just at home and that. And I said, that's a pretty cool camera. And that's and she's showing me the photos. And she goes, here you go. You can have a look. So I'm just clicking through her photos. No, that's a good one you got at the gym. That's a good one. And all of a sudden, she sees my face. I'm like this. And I just looked up. I went, oh, oh. Then she, all of a sudden, she looks at me. She goes, oh, my God. She's like, I'm sorry. I saw like 10 pictures at least. She goes, oh, that was me and my boyfriend on Valentine's no. Day. He's plowing her on the bed. She oh, starts to know that was on the same SD card. And then, and then when you're doing the interview, I said, I'm sorry, because I started laughing. I told her, I said, it's just hard to look at you the same way now. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. 
No, Lee, you probably said, uh, you know, if I was single, man, they'd get out for dinner right now. You know well, they had like, it was starting <laughs> off with me, but then it showed pictures of a dog. I said, oh, you got a great dog. It was like this oh, English no. bulldog type thing. But then when I kept going, then, then my whole face changed. And, I'm like, and I look up and she's like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh, I said, shit. I said to her, I said, it looks like you had a good day anyway. She goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, anyway, so... So anyway, my 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 <laughs> advice to the fans out there: don't give anybody your phone, man. <laughs> just yeah. do your own shit, please. Unbelievable, man. I was so embarrassed, but I really <laughs> I was mad, I was angry, and embarrassed at the same time because you know <clears throat> I'm I'm looking at these two people yeah. at this desk. You know they watch porno. Come on, yeah. Man. But like, if, it had, if it had yeah. been a if it had been one of those places, you got to go give a sperm sample. You could have just said, "I'm just." preloading my phone yeah, right, and get ready, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. get ready to go in the room. Yeah, that would have been apropos. You know what I mean? That would have been the, the right place to do that. But this was like totally... But do you think whatever, ever, who's, ever, who's ever been to those places? Because, you know, so I know you can do it at home and then take your sample to them in, in whatever time it is. But you actually go there and they give you the cup and go in the room. They know what yeah. you're doing in there. And when you come out, people sitting around know what you're doing in there. Well, if you come out with a nurse, it's not that bad. But you come out by yourself, it's a, it's a little but weird. But so what happens if you can't get excited there and you only give like one little drop at home? You might do this big load. There you give them a little drop and you're like, that's it? It's like... <laughs> they should have like some, some mechanical arm like with some uh, like a KY. <laughs> you know, the arm comes out like this. Well, how about someone just puts their hand through the wall and put the KY on there and then that's it. You know what I mean? The KY. Why not just the glory <laughs> hole and they can just milk you? Oh, that too. Side. That's even better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot of people don't know what a glory hole is, but we'll just leave it at oh, that. Oh, sure. Who doesn't know what a glory hole is? I guess so. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's what I said in the doctor's office. I said, don't tell me no <laughs> porno. I mean, come on. You're all acting innocent. You know you guys watch porno. Come on. Give me you a break. You should have been like, you should have went like, okay, you know what's on mine. Everyone give up their phones. We're going to Yeah, right. Yeah, history. exactly. Right. Yeah. Let that me see that old lady, so the old lady who got upset, her, her search history is probably the worst. Oh, exactly. Exactly. This is like, you know, oh, hers is I probably hers, hers is probably young men with big cocks and all that sort of stuff. My husband, we split up. Oh, boy. I said, you split up with your husband because he watches porno? I mean, I, I think that's a little better than him going in the street and getting it, right? I mean, you know, you guys yeah. home, guy sitting home in his toilet and his, in his privacy of his home watching porno. Did you say, looking at you, did you say to her, looking at you, I can see why he had to look at porn? Yeah, exactly. I wanted to tell her that, too, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to start a brawl. I was already like, I was already in the shit with the, with the lady in the office. Okay, you know? well, I'm, I'm getting visions coming on, so I guess it's time to step into the confessions. I'm getting Yeah, these yeah, we could do points. that. Let me show you I'm starting to get cold over here. I was starting to get hot. Now I'm getting cold. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah. menopause, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Tyler? Tyler disappear. Where the hell did he go? Just That's when we I'm say, saying. just when we give him, <laughs> just when we give him the cue. <laughs> Here we are talking about our own confessions. We're ready to roll. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Oh my god! It's anyway, like that movie whatever. Left Behind. He's just disappeared. There's probably just oh, a oh, oh, I'm glad you brought that up, Lee. So, I drive on the expressway. I go upstate New York, mm -hmm. 87, 684, 84 East to 87. All these highways, yeah. right? Watch, watch and, the bridges, Jimmy. Watch the bridges. Yeah, I'm scared not to go over bridges. So anyway, make a long story short, there's these amber signs. You know when they say uh, adult missing, blah blah blah. You know there's a mm -hmm. big amber sign. Yeah. Yeah. So now on the amber signs. They're saying solar eclipse. Oh, yes. Ma <clears throat> take mass transit. Uh, get there early. Leave there late. Be safe. Be alive. I, I'm like, what the hell is this shit? This is like yeah. all the way from Long Island all the way upstate and back. I'm like, yeah. why are these people flashing these solar eclipse signs? What, what's up with that? And be, I and never be safe. And be safe. And Yeah, be safe. Take mass transit. Well, like, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. you know. Take so, mass trains that they're planning a big bombing, Jimmy. They're planning something big for this. Well, you know, think about it for a minute. I mean, I, I never saw, you know, I, I'm 64 years old. I never seen anything yeah. like this in my life. No. An amber signs or any kind of sign. But did you thing. see, did you see, Um, there's a lot of conspiracies coming out about the bridge, but we won't get into them. But yeah. there was an actual Twitter post on Twitter. They showed it on, what was I watching it came up on, where someone said, on on that date, 
the bolt in Baltimore Bridge, something bad's going to happen, and they posted it like a day or two beforehand. Something uh-huh. big's going to happen in Baltimore with the bridge, and that it was on Twitter. The actual post that someone really? posted. Yeah. Well, uh, did I send you that cartoon, The Simpsons? The guy blew up the bridge. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So I sent you another video where uh, it looked like uh, when the bridge was coming down, there was explosions up mm. on the top of the bridge. But, <clears throat> you know, I, I sent that to my brother, too. And my brother texted me back and he said that was most likely the electrical lines. So when the bridge was falling down, mm. you know, the power lines you know, stretched and snapped. And naturally, you saw sparks. And yeah, the explosion. You know, that and people like yeah, that talking right, about yeah. redoing that bridge. <clears throat> They want to rename it because the bridge is racist. That was the guy that wrote the Star Spangled Banner. He's the one that's named after. And yeah, he Francis, had slaves. Francis, Francis yeah. Keith Scott. So then he had then, slaves, then, I, so they don't want to rename it after him again. And then other bridges right. in America are racist because they said the inner city kids, the bridges were built that low that the inner city kids' buses could not go under the bridges to get them to the beach. I'm thinking we could get out the fucking bus and walk or get a car. But so they couldn't go under there. So all these bridges in America, there's a lot of racist ones there. And Joy Reid told me that it's racist and that because people were talking about it, that did you know the people on the bridge were brown people? They were hardworking brown people, Mexicans on that bridge. And these people, it's like, oh, fucking hell. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about the bridge, man. Also, I saw another video about a, a, tow, a tugboat, or, you know, one of those tugboats, mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. <clears throat> he, he was next to the ship, and he was pushing the ship over. Nobody, nobody, nobody talked about the tugboat, and he pushed the ship over into the pile of the bridge. You know, like it was in the cover mm-hmm. of night. You know, so I mean, I, who know? I, who the hell knows? Right? All I know, also, also, is a lot of talk about that. That is a major port. And, oh, um, yeah, a big the, one. All, yeah, mm-hmm. and all the farmers get their fertilizer. <laughs> cars, cars, and all, Amazon, all kind of everything. food comes out of there and, you know, all kinds of stuff that gets shipped into America. So now that yeah, the yeah. bridge is down and everything's messed up, that port's going to be closed for a long time. So we might have, like, how many of these? How many of these accident-type things have happened since Biden's been in? Well, I now, mean, besides, besides you the... came back, Tyler, because when you were gone, Jim and I were leading into, we had our big speech, and then we're like, and now... That's a good segue to start with a confessions, and you were gone. Oh, oh no! Here I am, just getting a fresh brewski from the. Con- Maybe you got to go to the bathroom. Be no, not yet. Like, what do your pants like we do? Oh yeah, yeah. You, we wear our, our priest diapers. Yeah. <laughs> Good for catching the and <laughs> All right, well, we're ready to go. We're hopping yeah. to the booth. Then. Ah. All right, well, the first one... Turn the music down a bit. They tell you play too loud already. Oh, yeah, I know. We're lowered. <laughs> All right, the first one is a follow-up, actually. Do you guys oh. recall the pizza story? Yeah, I remember. They come oh, on yeah. the pizza. Jimmy yeah, Ford was shit on the pizza. A bit Jimmy Ford was shit on the pizza, but it was <laughs> on the pizza, and he dipped he did. it in. Yeah, I guess... Yeah. She, I, I, actually, we need to reread the story, because I was like, wait a minute. I got to brush up on what happened here. Yeah. Okay. New York party, hit up with the girl down the hall. Mm. Wait, is that the one? No. No, he brought her home or something. Again. Yeah, yeah, party on New Year's Eve. Growing up upstairs, got finished our activities. Tell her I'm going to get some water. And then she starts throwing up all over the bed. Yeah. I quickly close the door and act like I don't hear it. Maybe I should have stayed, yeah. but I don't know her name. And he's grossed out from puking. And the owner was upset or something. and Kicks her out, yeah. you know, so he feels bad and offers her a ride home. <laughs> Before we left, I can also kind of relate. Can you not relate to the owner, though, when, like, some random girl you don't know came to your party, th- can't control herself, threw up all over well, your bed, and, like, and is not going to clean like it up? That. You'd almost expect that you would say, look, don't go into bedrooms or don't go. They always say that. They never listen, do they? Anyways, <laughs> before I left, we still had the used condom in my pocket. So yep. I took it out, left it inside the owner's shoe. She brought mm. us pizza, and up back at her house. We start going at it again. She asked me to bust on the inside of the pizza box. As we finish, she takes a slice and dips it in the splazzoli yep. icing. I, mean, it all. Damn. I end up, he never finds her name, and uh, they never spoke again. Okay, so here's his follow-up. The pizza box was in the kitchen, and we ate in the living room. I only had the one condom, and I put it in my, so did he reuse it? And I put it in my pocket. I wasn't just going to leave it on the ground and I wasn't going to throw it out. I was going to throw it out, but got distracted by her throwing up. So I just got out of there and forgot until after I decided to put it in his shoe. 
She oh. was on it, so he was explaining him why it ended up in the guy's shield. Yeah. She was on a coffee table on all fours, and the plate was at the end of the table, so I guess she got the idea during that, and the rest is history. I was nervous to raw dog a random chick, but it worked out in the end. <laughs> we like that one. We like that yeah. story. That was a good one. And, Wait, and, so yeah, and he, he, whose shoe did he put the, the condom in? The guy, the guy that had the house that kicked him out. Yeah, that oh. was like, ew, you threw up my bed? Get out of here, drunk bitch. <clears throat> put the condom in his shoe. Yeah, it's still <clears throat> a nice story. We remember that. Even Jimmy it's a agreed. lovely story. Jimmy would agree that he would dip it in there too. He'd, he'd do stuff like that after, <laughs> after looking. Hey, Jimmy, I had to ask you, did your, did your friend contact you who wrote his confession in? Uh, no, not yet. No. He hasn't seen it yet? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, he did. Yeah, yeah, the Tasso. Yeah, the, didn't, he, yeah. didn't he go to the scouts club hall and they all went swimming naked and touched each other in the water? <laughs> I don't remember. Was that was that? Was yeah, that remember he went he went to the camp and then he went on the camp and he, you know he left out he, the I beach. I thought he put urine in the uh, super soaker or something like that. Didn't yeah, that? but you know that was after they'd all been skinny dipping and touching <laughs> each other in the water. You know how the cubs are when they get together in their little groups and go to Wait. bed in their sleeping bags and they play. Two little <laughs> And they, 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 they pitch tents. Yeah, and they, two of them hop inside the sleeping bag and think they're yeah, like right. within the full skin. Uh, yeah, he, he he contacted me about it. He, he was very happy that we discussed his uh, his confession. <laughs> and uh, he said I was, I told, I and I said, I specifically remember saying that everything he did was out of anger because of his yeah. upbringing and his, his, yeah. his, his, his dad or whatever. And he texted me back and he said that I was right on with the anger issue. So he was happy that I I, I bet saw we'll ride on with the other skinny dipping and fiddling in the water that too. But... <laughs> yeah, we skipped over that part, but you know the yeah. The, the, the yeah the anger with the I guess <laughs> the urinating in the super soaker, you know when they were having mm -hmm. water balloon fights yeah. or whatever, you know yeah. yeah, yeah. Word in the guy's mouth, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was he was he thanked me. He thanked me. I think Thanks. it was a it was a, some sort of a relief, you know when he, yeah he someone told else the story we helped. And, yeah. Exactly. We helped him. He 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 let it out. We discussed mm. it, and he actually texted me and he thanked me and he he feels better that he had because I don't think he told anybody that story. So that I, nice? I, so thank you, Tasso, for sharing that with us. Yeah. And I'm glad that uh, Lee, myself, and Tyler, we helped you uh, come out come out of the closet with that. Yeah. God, <laughs> I gotta, so to I speak. Gotta new, I got to get a new white piece for my color. Yeah, my paper is tearing as well. I mean, my very Vatican official loincloths that you put yeah. on your collar so what's the next one that was just a nice little follow-up nice little follow-up and now yeah. we're back in the booth with okay. a fresh con oh. a confession this is <laughs> it's fresh hold on here comes the visions go okay <laughs> strong uh the Jimmy. subject simply says uh, i haven't even bothered i, I have no time i, 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 right I get scared here. when lee gets <laughs> and i get scared when i haven't proofread these emails but we're just gonna go for it uh it, the subject just says i guess i'm getting old i was mm. at the grocery store a few months back this lady came up to me and started talking to me talking about really? how much fun we had in our younger days I was like, yeah, I'm sure we did have fun <laughs> when we were younger. We told each other about our spouses and children, kept looking at her, trying to remember where I knew her from. Couldn't place a name with her face. Finally, I said it was great catching up and continued shopping. When I was driving home, I finally remembered her. It was a girlfriend from high school 30 years ago. I'm 32, so that's like wow. put in to freaking time quantification they must, they must be like in their 50s are they or? yeah yeah you would assume she had quit dyeing her hair blonde it was brunette now here's one of the reasons i shouldn't have forgotten about her oh when no. i was in high school me and her were parked at the lake we spread out a blanket and had a picnic a sexual one i'm gonna bet this is gonna lead up to well i put chocolate syrup on around her breast and nice and then her i don't I'm going to guess uh, her female Shlazoli is what he's talking about there. Oh, oh, oh. She okay. put some syrup on my Shlazole. We uh, skinny dipped to clean off after we had uh, sex. That's fun. Uh, we left a cop car. We, we asked we left a cop car pulled in as we were leaving. We started down the road and she was giving me roadhead. Classic. I could oh. see the cop car was coming up behind us. Oh, no. He flipped the lights on and I could hear the siren getting closer. I, I told her, stop. 
<laughs> As we were getting pulled over, that's when she started going deeper and faster. Dude, yeah. no way. I'd be like, no, seriously, get the fuck off. <laughs> the cop got in the lane beside us. She wouldn't stop, and he was getting so close. The cop just kept going. He wasn't even after us, and then he he exploded. She was awesome. <laughs> the end of the, conf- the quote-unquote confession. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I, what, what did the wanna, fathers think want- of that one? You want to elaborate on that one first, please? Well, you know, there was a little bit more stuff going on than he said. You know, he just made it like a quick little bit of chocolate syrup around the nipples and then <laughs> down her vagina, and then he got someone here. So there's a lot more going on. It was going doggy style. He got a bit of chocolate mousse on the old fella from going up the Hershey Highway. Oh, he's the leaving, Hershey he's leaving Highway! Out. He's leaving <laughs> You know, when he was pile driving there and hit the mud, he, he just, he's leaving out. <laughs> He's leaving out the good bits. And then the whole thing with the cop too, you know, the whole cop thing was like, yeah, the cop was coming up behind you because he knew what you were doing. And the cop, as he was driving behind you with the lights on, that excited him. So he was whacking his old Shazali. Oh, my God. (laughs) Looking over now. And you could just see the top of her head going down. So the cop, yeah, he's on a way to a mass shooting somewhere, but just the thought of the mass <laughs> shooting and the blood, oh, no. and this guy get this. Yeah, that is what son. cops do. They got a mass shooting, yeah. but they're whacking yeah. off and to a car. He's driving down there. He's got the taser on his balls as he's pulling it, driving <laughs> past, and he shoots his load and just keeps on going to the mass shooting. Oh, my God, Lee. You definitely having some visions tonight. <laughs> some visceral visions. Mm. And That's, then he had to go down. He had to go down to the Baltimore Bridge after he went past. <laughs> God damn! Oh wow, this is recent. Yeah, it's only last week. recent. Well, I I like to elaborate. It's not going to be as in depth as, as Lee's vision. But, no, uh, how could it be? You're not, I, you're not I, thinking. I really, you're, not, I, you're, not, you're not letting them in, Billy. Jimmy. Open up. Open up. My okay? bad. I, I gotta, well, we we just started. Really so I got I got to slowly, uh, you know, oh, don't resist. I, so I I think that his resist. confession. <laughs> <clears throat> is uh, is is a good one. It's, it's a good memory. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chocolate syrup, you know, in the car. I I've I've actually experienced stuff like that myself. So, I think it was a good vision. He, you know, he maybe he didn't tell anybody for years about it. But yeah. when he met that girl in the supermarket, and you know, she's got it, a dirty streak in it too because she knew the cop was coming, and it could have been for them. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make right. you. Yeah, blow. yeah, that's crazy. But even if the cop pulls you over well, and sits outside the window. I'm going to keep going. When I'm finished with you, you just open up the door and I'll start on him to get you out of the ticket. Well, you, wow. know, some, you know, sometimes, you know, exhibitionists, they love when they do stuff with like, mm-hmm. like that, that's forbidden. You know, like so when the cop huh? was chasing them down with the lights on, Don't she knew up. that they were going to get Oops. pulled over. So she stepped it up because it was turning her on that the cop was behind the, the lights. You know, the bad I mean, girl. I, I, a it's ride a, up, a, a bad girl thing. Yes, yes. Don't need a movie. Very bad girl. That. Yes, yeah. I'll be I back mean, in a second. I just got to move the car. One quick second. All right, father. Right, father, father the the car. Car. I'll be filming yeah. the so. <clears throat> so years ago, you know, I have a similar confession. So uh, I went to a power meet years ago, you know, years ago, and uh, I was with a good friend of mine, and we, uh, we, I don't know, he knew this girl, we picked her up, and she came with us to this power meet, and uh, on the way up there, uh, my friend, uh, you know, she he started fooling around with her, you know, you know, going between her legs and following her breasts, and I'm driving the car, oh, and I'm wow. looking, and I, you know, and I'm 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 swerving a little bit because you know I'm on, we're going state because <laughs> this is know, just inappropriate I, all around. Yeah, you know, I'm watching the, these two in the car going at it, and I'm like, you know, you know, and then she was like reaching over, you know, between my legs, and she was grabbing my shots all a little bit. Oh, she was. Oh, wow. So she's getting involved with both of you. Yeah, she was kind of doing me, you know, a little bit like just you know, just grabbing me, nothing crazy, you know. And then you know, I've I've had the only closest thing I have similar experience I've had to that is being an Uber driver, but I was very not involved, and they were very unattractive, and they were still fondling themselves and doing. Yeah, the, they didn't what the care. I right? was in the back seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But please she, continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, so then all of a sudden it started getting crazy, and uh, you know, before you know it, her pants were off. And, what the uh, fuck? 
Yeah, and then and then she's riding my buddy in the passenger seat. So he's sitting down. She's on top, and yeah, you know, he's he's doing her like oh, that. What kind of car are you in? You in a you in a Cadillac four door that could? To, to it was like a, an Oldsmobile. It was a, it was a rental, you know. So it was a big car. All so right. you know he he's he's doing you know he's riding whatever he's doing. Heads banging on the ceiling. And, you know, oh my god! And I'm, and I'm driving. I'm trying to keep my composure, you know. Yeah, you know, sudden, not crash the fucking thing. And all of a sudden, the state trooper rides up alongside us. Oh, and, he, and he's riding along with us. And my friends <laughs> just going at it. Going, and, I, and, I, and I kept saying, yo, yo, bro, this is state troop. He's right alongside us. Right. There's no He's way that her. looks okay because there's clearly a woman on top in a lap of a oh, passenger. You, I mean, he was riding right next to us. You can see the whole thing. <laughs> So, you know, I'm trying to tell him, yo, man, to chill out. You know, the, the, the state troop is riding line right now. He's just, he just, they just kept going, you know. And I, and I was driving and I, and I looked at the guy, you know, and I, I went like, I went like, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> like, you know, like, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm like, going, I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, you know? <laughs> and the guy just takes off. He oh just takes God. off. That's and amazing. I'm, like, I'm amazing. like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy just left. That's some rated R hilarious humor oh right there. Oh my god, it was it was you know. I think I think it, you man. just you just being so like just cartoonishly like, what are you gonna do? I think that's yeah. I was me. just driving the car, you know, on the highway. It was that night, you know, and uh, <laughs> I look at him and I just I just go like this. I'm sorry. Kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's nuts. And and he it's just nuts, huh? At me and then he just took off. You know what, I mean? what he looked? Uh, you looked at him. He looked at you. Looked into each other's eyes, and he kept sucking you off. Jesus Christ! What sort of story did I miss? The quick notes is he had a his friend was doing a girl in the passenger side uh, while he was driving, and she was messing with him. And a state uh, trooper also pulled up, looking in. And Jimmy was just, "What are you gonna do?" Yeah, should have sat on the gear shifter and just moved back and forth. <laughs> oh man, God, man, that could yeah. that could jam a girl up if you if you didn't do that one right. <laughs> if you yeah, if you did a sudden fine. break. <laughs> my, my friend John, he's out of his mind, you know, but he didn't want to stop. So I, I was like, you know what? I, I thought I was thinking, like, what kind of can we actually get a ticket for this? I don't, I don't even yes. know. What the, you can? Oh, yeah. man. That's like, this, for sure, this, this is, this and is, um, reckless, is probably sure. same, yeah, uh, probably unsafe driving or driving. Yeah, because yeah. you can't have someone in a lap, first of all. You can't be having sex publicly, secondly. And then, like, well, the really, it really, it's that. kind of a gray area because it wasn't really publicly. I mean, yeah, it was in, in the car. car. I'm pretty sure that, that it, it pretty sure it counts because if, if you had the seatbelts around you, it should be okay. That should be safe. yeah. Then, then everything's fine. Yeah. Well, this like is I John. Said, is this is this this is John who you've licked his smegma off the chest? Is it the same guy? Oh God, is it? Uh, uh, no, that was a, that was a different guy. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, that John who, wasn't that John who did his load? And but a series of different back. memories <laughs> just surged back. Hey, you know, Lee, when you're in the heat of the moment, man, you oh, know, yeah, shit just happens. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. You know, I'm scared. Not, to not only I'm scared I did that with Jimmy now, because next year maybe one of these conventions might be about me. <laughs> you know, you know, Lee and you know, I was were just driving down you know, the road. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, my testosterone was very high when I was young. Yeah, I was going to say, you're probably allegedly on a cocktail of who knows what. I was so, like, you know, the, the, high. The, 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 was well, when, like I, when I come visit, I better make sure Jimmy's not on his TRT because you might be like, you know, Lee and I were driving to Nashville and he <laughs> fell asleep. And, you know, he's looking <laughs> <quite>. <laughs> Next thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I haven't really done any testosterone, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty low right now. But back yeah. then, forget about it. You know, I was out of well, my mind. You know what I mean? So uh, let's get the your... whole thing was a, a turn. On, you know, it was uh, yeah, a testosterone yeah. and a few lines of yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. ready to go. There you are. Hey, and a little bit of that, forget it. Oh, well, then, then, like you said, it doesn't yeah. matter where or what it is. No, it don't matter, man. It's uh, yeah. all bets are off. It's and a free for all. all. <laughs> it's a goddamn free, it's a godforsaken free for all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, like well, Bolivia, we should probably Bolivia, let's get that testosterone back up, Jimmy. Let's get Wait back a minute, what, what, so what, what was the last confession we just talked about? I, I, we, we talked about it so much. What, what was the pizza? Was that the, the one in the you? car? The one in the car. Oh, the car. Right. Keep okay. up, Jimmy. Keep up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's fast times in the confession booth. All right. Oh, this one's super quick. It's a quick question. Oh, I love oh. it. All right. It couldn't be quicker. I've been married for 20 years. And I've been talking to my ex-wife. Nothing no. romantic. Just to say hi occasionally. We usually talk about less than an hour. 
<laughs> it's only like an hour long we talk. Are you thinking about going to see her? Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, probably. I well, mean, well, listen, you to see your ex? Now, how long, how long was he with her for? Did he say or 20 years or he's been married now 20 years? He's been married a long time. Well, has it depends how long he's with the ex I for. Know. I don't know. Well, look, if he was with the ex for a long time and they broke up and they got talking, if they finished on amicable terms where they're still friends, I don't see a problem as long as you're letting the recent wife know, hey, such and such contacted me when I'm down there. I'm just going to catch up and say hello if it's just like a platonic thing. But even then, you know, I, the current wife then, could have, you have the to. Wife you could still be a bit, the current wife still could be a bit, well, she's your ex. She might still have feelings. She could happen to be like if your wife now said she was going to see her ex, how would he feel? So Yeah, I was just going to say. Best, it's I'm best to like tell her, it. and if she doesn't, if she doesn't feel comfortable with it, I wouldn't do it. If your current wife's not comfortable, why risk a good marriage if you got a good right. marriage just to talk to your ex? I mean, what's I, the I, point? I, yeah. I, exactly. I can't speak from a longevity of a marriage, but it's it's like, yeah. If you flip it, would you be happy if she was like, "Hey, uh, I'm no reason platonic. I'm just gonna mm. go see my ex and hang out with them oh, yeah. away." Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like no. that. So, so I, I guess the moral of the story is, uh, cut it. You know, yeah. if you want, you if, you want have a, yeah, if you want to have a, a sound marriage, yeah. and, uh, and she's your ex, for, she's your ex for a reason there. So right. something work out. So why? Right. Yeah, maybe it's like you said, on the phone, the casual, casual happy stuff. birthday. Yeah. You know, yeah. oh, yeah. good. Or even Facebook, how you go on, where it's like open, where everyone can see the conversation. Right. Um, Okay, well, so we're, we're all agreed on that. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, if you run across her in a like a a, a store or whatever, and you, you know, you say, hey, how you going to be stalking the public, <laughs> trying to make sure she's there. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, know something like that. that. You run across her, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you, and you say, hey, how you doing? How you been? Hey, good, everything's great. You know, what I mean, I hate yeah. that kind of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, push your shopping cart in front so she can't leave. I, I'm like very direct. I mean, if someone come up to me and I haven't seen him in years, hey, how you been? I would just be like, what do you want, man? <laughs> what's, yeah, what's the you know, score here? What, what, wanna, what, what's the wanna, point? Where, wanna, where are we going wanna, with this? Fuck, you know? Where are we going with this? Yeah. Yeah. Don't waste my time. Do you want to fuck or not? That's just, yeah, right. Exactly. Are you just getting getting a beer? Or you, do you want yeah. money from me? I, I'd be honest with you, Lee. I'm at the age now where I don't have time to dilly down yeah. and play games like that anymore. You know, so <laughs> even even if you met someone point. new, I mean, even if you met someone new, it's like you don't want to go through. It's like I don't care about your family. I don't care about if you got a sister or a brother or how you're brought up. It's like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just not fucking interested. It's so exactly. true. It's like I struggle to care enough about my own family. Exactly. I, I, I have to say, I've been saying a lot of, you know, like, 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 what's on my mind? I've been saying it lately. Jimmy, I was just going to say, I could see you in the store. They're trying, like, oh, it's so good to see you. How and you're like, yeah, what, I, you know, what, I, what is I, this? I, what are we doing? Listen, I have to confess. <laughs> be like, be like, hey, Jimmy, I haven't seen you in a long time. And Jimmy's like, hasn't been fucking long enough. Trust me. <laughs> I, I, I have to confess. I mean, I have many stories, but this is, this is a, a recent one, you know. Uh, and it's nothing, uh, nothing sexual or anything, you know. It's just, uh, it's just saying what's on my mind. I, you know, like I don't, I used to hold back and say, okay, you know, I'll let it go. But I, I, I you know, so I, I have to, I have to really reach out to all people who work in delis. Okay, mm -hmm. this is for the deli people. The like meat handlers. Yeah, they, 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 right. The meat handlers, right? The, the guys are making your egg sandwich or whatever mm -hmm. like that. You know, I'm you're awesome. going. With, you know, right. God bless them. You know, I, I, I walk into a deli. I say, yeah, give me two scrambled egg sauces, butter and salt on a plain roll. And the guy makes I it nice. It, I bet if it's not right, Jimmy throws it back at him. <laughs> no, it's even worse than that. So, you know, <laughs> the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy, you know, he, he cuts the sandwich, he wraps it all up nice, you know, and he gives it to um, you, you know, you go, you pay for it. Mm -hmm. You go in the car, you know, me, you know, and I, I have my, I have, uh, you know, when I'm at work, sometimes I have my cooler bag i'll put the sandwich on there yeah, open it up. Too much and the thing you don't know about you jimmy is too when jimmy them. likes the sandwich he loves that sandwich so the yeah. whole thing with jimmy is the anticipation of getting it yeah, <laughs> get it's gotta be right. wait to get back to unwrap it and eat it like he's getting oh. so excited it's, like, gotta be it's almost oh, like he's gonna I'm, blow I'm like his load in his pants man. You know, yeah. I, I, but I, then I, but then all that excitement turns to what when he undoes it and rage yeah i'm anyway so 
I put the sandwich up on the cooler bag. I open up the yeah. paper. Nice. There's the sandwich sitting there real beautiful. And I'm driving. So I go over to reach for the half a sandwich. And I grab the half, you know, because it's sitting there. It's cut in half, right? You know, mm -hmm. I grab the half and I go to lift it, to pull it, to go eat it. And the whole fucking sandwich comes I'm off. Still the connected by oh, no. The son of a bitch couldn't cut. I don't understand it. So, you know, <laughs> you swung the went, whole thing. The like they, don't, they don't go all the way through. They leave the bottom bit. Like they cut yeah. the top. What the hell is that? Cut all the way through. What the hell is? I mean, there's little things like this. You got to anticipate. anticipate. You know, so the next following couple of days, I ended up back in that deli, and the guy was making my sandwich. I said, "Listen, bro, do me a favor." I says, "When you cut that sandwich, I says, could you please put a little pressure, apply a little pressure to that knife, and make sure you cut through the sandwich to the cutting board, and make sure it's in here." Matter of fact, when you put the knife through there, you know, give it a little separation when you get to yeah. the bottom. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, the sandwich went all over the place, man. My lap, <laughs> every I had lettuce, tomato, like the roast beef. It was a nightmare. Like, it was a nightmare. That really pissed me off. So. Anyway, that's my story. If they yeah, say that. I will, I'm sorry. If I worked in a deli, you see, me, I'm the type of guy, everything I do. You I cut the fucking the, sandwich. I want to be the best at everything I do. I don't give a shit yeah. if it's taking the garbage out. I'm just, I'm, I'm anal like that. It's got to be the best, right? So if I was making a sandwich for somebody, I would make it really nice, you know, mm -hmm. looking great. And I cut that son of a bitch right through, right to the board, you know, and I separate mm -hmm. it with the knife a little bit, make sure it's in the ham. And I wrap it up nice. I give it to God. Because I want to, I give a it to bit the of guy extra like. A little salt, an extra pepper on it. And, yeah. A little extra mayo, a little extra salt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's all, you know, I want to give the guy the sandwich the way I would if it was me mm -hmm. getting yeah. the sandwich. I, I don't want to just see just like you don't give a shit. You run the night yeah. through like that, you wrap it up. Oh, the you young kids, you didn't even cut the bottom roll. Days. Young kids are just like me, 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 me. There you go. It's like nobody gives you shit anymore. Like even that down to a sandwich, you can't even cut yeah. you can't even, hey, what the hell's wrong with you, man? So uh, that was my well, confession. That, that happened to me twice. Maybe you telling him how the sandwich got ruined, how it flew across your car. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna cut these things half every time now. I when threw I the whole thinking. thing out, Ty. I grabbed the whole the, the roast beef, everything was on my leg, the egg, whatever the hell, and I just threw it out the window. The whole thing. <laughs> that's the way. That's the way I am. I went well, to McDonald's that happened, that happened one to time, me twice you know. this week. I went to McDonald's to get the. That's ham what I did. Cheese. I went to McDonald's too. Ham, cheese, and tomato toasty, and I'm driving. Put my hand in the bag. Pull one half out. The other half's attached, but it all falls in the bag. Tomato. Oh, and yeah. get. So now I've got two bits of bread hanging off the piece I'm holding. And the contents, the melted cheese, ham, and tomatoes in the bag. Like, yeah, it's just ruined. You're like, twice it happened because they just left that little dangle bit on. They just cut it all the way through. I got I, you, I, know, you know. There's a McDonald's. I'm sorry, Tyler. There's a McDonald's right over here. So one day I was just I, I was joining the McDonald's and I went there and I, I ordered. You know. I ordered my. I went to the, the speaker there and I said, "Yeah, let me get a double double quarter pounder. You know, no no cheese, no pickles, no onions, please." So she asked me if I if I wanted the I, I actually left this on Dave's uh, voicemail. She said she said I don't I got to go to the happy I says what was that? She said you you went to the 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 yeah, I said, no, I'm not using an app. Yeah. No, no they app. Always I, said, ask me that. They ask me that I said, I just well, want the sandwich. Yeah. I don't want the app. I said, That's where I'm trying app. to go. I have a, yeah. I have a McDonald's boy. I got to confess, but it's more of a, I, I got a vent because I, I'm so mad at McDonald's right now. And every it, time I pull up, right. I pulled up this morning. They said, are you using the McDonald's app today? I'm like, no. Well, yeah. check it out. I right. do use the app, and I've loved it until now. And now I'm fucking with, with the app. Don't I'm you boycotting McDonald's. Like, with the app, can't you get like free items or yes. like you get them cheaper yes. or you like get a free Here's coffee? Why. Or... Two reasons why I use the app because I cannot have to Jimmy talk to them. I don't have to do that whole box exchange with the human being. Right. I yeah. can when, just when you pull specify. Up, don't, you just them, don't you just give them the number of the app when you pull up? The yeah. <laughs> so you can actually like before you go through, two things happen. You can specify exactly what you want. And then you can select a deal. So I, at the minimum, I get my meal for 25% off every time. Yeah. It's not bad. But the last time I went to use it, I do what I always do. I'm at the McDonald's. I do the yeah. things before the drive through I yeah. go there. I tell her my code. And she goes, we don't have that code. I'm like, what? And I, I pulled the app. And for no reason, the app like did a different McDonald's across town, different address. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's software. Things happen. Let me just get a refund. They go, you have to go to that McDonald's to get a refund. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? I, I want Jimmy. I, I want a little Jimmy on him because I was just like, I don't, but I didn't order, but the food was never made. 
because I didn't tell them this code there. So no food was made. Why am I being charged for the food? Well, that sounds like my friend. My friend did the same thing. I don't know if it was McDonald's or somewhere else, but he has the app for it. He does the same thing. He goes up, tells them the thing, goes up to the window. Oh, we don't have it. He's like, but I got it here on the app. And the same thing. Oh, we don't see it here. Well, he's like, well, oh. he's, he's like, well, can you just do it? Because I think on the app it was a different. Can you just do it? Yeah. Can you just learn? Can you just give me? Can you just give me what I ordered on the app? I say it was like five ninety nine, six ninety nine. But in the store, if you didn't have the app, it was like ten ninety nine. He's like, yeah. well, I ordered it, but it hasn't come through. But I ordered it. Can you just give it to me for that price? I know we can't do that. You no. have to do it on the app. He's like, well, I did on the app. It didn't come through. So <laughs> don't you. you just give me the same deal? Nah, I'm, no, so no, I'm because like, it's not on the app. We can't give you the same deal. I'm, like, <laughs> listen, I'm boycotting like, McDonald's, but like, I, I'm going to like, nah, they're like, that's the PSA. You got to check that address that before app. you go through. So after I, after I went to the, the, she asked me the app. I didn't know what the hell she was talking about because there was a language barrier thing, you know. Mm. So I'm ordering the double a double quarter pound, no pickles, no one. You just, you know, and I don't like seeds. They put thousands of seeds on. Uh, I, I bet you got all of it. I bet you got all of it. <laughs> yeah. So after she's telling me, you know, you want the meat, the dog, the but that I said, no, I want the double quarter pound, no pickles. Oh, you want the pickles and the other? I said, no, I don't want the pickles and the onions. I want the freaking double quarter pound and no pickles, no onions. You need the app, Jimmy. You can reorder this. You know, she says, oh, okay, yeah, okay, the double, the beef, the cheddar, the tomato. I says, no, no, I just, I said, look, just give me the meat. I said, just give me the potato, the roll, potato roll. I don't want to see and the meat and a large fry and a coke. I go to the window. I get everything. I, I I get the order. I check it. Is everything? I, I go to I go around the corner. I throw the whole bag out the window, man. Huh. The French fries, the soda, everything. Right, right in the parking lot. I didn't give a shit because yeah. they didn't get it right. You know what I mean? And they made me also pull away. You know, after all of that bullshit, and I pay it, and I go to the window. She said, "Could you go to that number three stall over there?" I said, "Do you want me to go to number three, the number the three stall over there?" She goes, "Yeah, you can wait for the deal." I said, "I'll pull over there. I'll wait for the order." And I go over there and yeah. I wait. Well, they make those quarter pounders fresh. Do do what I do, Jimmy. I love it. I just do it the fuck with them. There'll be like lots of cars behind me. I put pay. I go to the next window to get. And they go, "Oh, excuse me." Even though they know it's me. Oh, Lee. Can you just pull into bay number one? I'm like, no, I'm right. I can wait here. And the look on their face. Because really, what could they do? If I said I'm not moving, I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> they can't make me move the car. But the look on their face when I go, no, I'm right. I can wait here. They just go. <laughs> the last time I ordered, Lee, Ooh. I ordered everything. I got it. Everything was ice cold. The French oh. fries, the burger. There was the, the ice was melted. I, I got so mad. I, I took the bag. I went back in McDonald's. I said, this is bullshit. I'm not eating it. I went back inside. And the ladies, the... It happened to me. Yeah, I did a thing with my wife. I went and got a big meal for us and two chocolate sundaes with extra fudge. I pay for it, get to the window. They just hand me the sundaes and go, can you pull in the bay one? I go in the bay one. I'm there for like 10 minutes. When they come out, I'm like, my Sundays are melted. Would you like, would you like another two? I'm like, well, that would be nice. Now I've got, I've got like two fucking shakes that all just melted down. I was like, why give yeah. me the fucking Sundays if I've got to sit in a hot car for 10 minutes waiting for the food? I, I, so I go back into McDonald's and I put the bag on the table like this. Boom. I said, listen to me. I said, the burger's ice cold. The fries are cold. I said, I want all, I want hot. I don't want it now. <laughs> they will scramble around. They probably just threw your bag in the microwave. And then, gave... <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they, they gave me the new bag and I opened it up and I feel the fries and I said, hot. I said, thank yeah. you. Oh, I said, well, you should have just did that the first time. Huh? I, ah, I came back in here. Well, I don't know if it was like a fish they make fresh, but sometimes you get an old feel like your fish has been sitting there and it's just like, ugh, rubber. Man, if you guys ever came in town, there's a burger bar right down the street from me. They make such a good burger. I'm going to show you a picture of the burger they make now, actually. Just real quick. Then we're going to go right like to the too obnoxious, is it? It's not like too overdone. No, no, no. It's not. It's like the, it's just a great burger. I hate it's, those ones where they do like six patties. Too much. Just like, yeah. No, I'm no. I, I agree. Like It's got to be the man. perfect ratio. I'm done with McDonald's. I ain't going to McDonald's no more. No, I agree. Boycott McDonald's. Yeah, I hey, don't finish hey, McDonald's, McDonald's starting soon, and it should be everywhere by 2026, is selling, starting to sell Krispy Kremes at all McDonald's. I heard Bro, that, yeah. I heard just that. what America needs. That's right. Get the Krispy Kreme, put the Sunday on top. Oh. 
I like the Seven Eleven glazed donuts. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, they're, they're really good. good. Yeah. Look at that, even like Wendy's donuts are good. Look at that. That was a mushroom in Swiss. Look how oh. beautiful. Oh yeah. And then yeah. Uh, it looks like they got like... the nice. It looks like they got the nice thick potato chips. Oh, I like those French fries. Yeah, the steak fries, the crinkle cut. Yeah. I love mm. them. Oh man, so as long as, as long as they're crispy, they're not too oily and. Uh, and no, so no, you can tell they're nice and crispy. Covered, covered yeah, in salt. Salt. I tell you, go back to that burger a minute, Ty. It looked like a demon's face for a minute. Let me let me just go back for a minute. Yeah. That, a that demon burger. space? Yeah, I saw a demon in that there, the burger. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Look, look at the eyes, the nose, the cheap piece of cheese in the middle oh, yeah. of the mouth. <laughs> oh, it looks like it looks like the Grinch, but in a burger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've taken so many photos of burgers from there. They just all look so good. That one looks good. That looks nice. That's how Samantha gets it. The one yeah, third we have one that's called a works burger. And the works burger is like that. The tomato. You get tomato, onion, beetroot, pineapple, my bad boys. lettuce, cheese. Wow. The works burger has everything on it. Oh, I'm getting so hungry right now. I just drooled listening to that. I'm starving over here, man. Fuck it, man. Okay, we got more confessions. Let's go back in the booth. Jimmy's eating pretzels. I am. I, I, I am so, I am definitely getting a burger tonight now. Okay. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got someone. Let's see. Back in the confession booth. It's a little long. We might have to do some skimming, but Father Bull. Reverend Tyler, thank you. Wow, Reverend. Thank you for taking my last confession lightheartedly, as it really was. I didn't, I didn't get a mention. I father bull and reverend. It was father. weird. He said, hello, good fathers. Yeah, they just, just need to. Oh, here we go. There was no swimming pool and circle jerking. Okay, Lee, you animal. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that in? Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to remember who, the, hang on. I got to go, I got to look, I got to go there back to no the what? previous. There was no what? Okay, hot piss on the hottest day at camp. This was the person that did the piss with the super soakers. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I, Jimmy, I this thought, is your friend. I thought that was it? Jimmy's friend. Oh, Tasso. Yeah, okay, so Tasso's back in the booth. Yeah. All right, uh -oh. now we understand. You know, you know me, I always respect anonymity so much. I didn't want to, you know, say their name right away. Uh, okay. Care. Anyways, Tasso's back. Yeah, he said it was okay to say his name. So there was no swimming pool and circle jerking, okay, Lee? No, nah, bullshit. <laughs> you I, were there Daddy, with that. Also, you can mind, say that, that been the case. You can't, you can't <laughs> deny the visions I'm getting, and the visions <laughs> never lie. I <laughs> was lucky enough to have girlfriends to play doctor with from a far too early age. Lol, mm -hmm. I'm married now. Jimmy knows. You know, you know doctors also see male patients. Uh-oh. You said you were right, though, Tyler. That was a gateway confession to a more sinister one. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, it I was Oktoberfest in Jimmy, La Crosse, you Wisconsin. Friend, what do we expect? <laughs> <laughs> it was Oktoberfest in La Crosse, Wisconsin, which I've been to, by the way. Fun place. Oh. Mm -hmm. The streets were mad with drunk college students. I didn't <laughs> couldn't imagine that place with drunk college oh. students, but they were fighting, they were making out, the whole works. Mm -hmm. I was with some buddies, and we were going to different backyard parties. Yeah, this All is day. the same circle jerk buddies, by the way. <laughs> One of the parties we stumbled upon was very aggressive, and immediately my friends and I were hurled into a fight. Beer was getting thrown at people's oh, yeah. faces. Yeah. I've otherwise known as foreplay. <laughs> Just chaos. <laughs> Me loving it. He said he loved it, shoving yeah, my friend yeah, back I know, I know. at this dude yeah, who shoved same. him. The guy, <laughs> the guy punched my friend in the throat, which caused him oh. to fall to the ground choking. I immediately tackled that guy, started rocking him in the face with a left and a right while he was yeah, laying the, against the bush. And the shizoli, and the shizoli. <laughs> yeah, right, the shizoli. He loved it. I'm going to make this story short because it got sexual. Mm. But when a lot he, of guy had that part. When he knocked him out, did he leave See? out the part? Lee was stands? right. And I straightened him while he was unconscious. Did he say that? But a lot of crazy shit happened at that party. Too much to write. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I noticed, ended up noticed, noticed with this it was chick an in the bathroom. She smelled like blue ribbon beer, caps. And when I figured, when I, oh, when he, when he, yeah, when he smelled like rotten tilapia and poo, I told her to grab a drink, ha ha, and left her. My girlfriend at the time, oh, that he was cheating on apparently, uh. wasn't with us. She was at the dorms. Later that night, we were finally home. The same friend moron that I was helping smoking weed with his roommate, the room next to mine, had a girl over at the time. Well, they kept getting louder and laughing. Then I heard them telling a story. And for some reason, Chad, oh, the, Chad was talking shit about me. So I banged on the door and I was like, hey, Chad, 
asshole. Is there a problem? <laughs> Immediately he opened the door. He must have been drunk, but he was also 6'1 and a basketball player. I don't oh. give a fuck how look, look big the way this guy was. That. Look at the way he says that. You can hear like the sexual tension in his voice. Like <laughs> you, you can like hear it. Dad. You can feel it in the air. Dad, he opened the door and it looked like he was going to push basketball. me. Instincts kicked in and I head I headbutted him. So yeah. it fast and it knocked him Code out cold. Code head jump. <laughs> I grabbed his arms and assisted him down so he didn't get hurt. So he didn't hurt his head. Assisted him down. This is all sexual. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Uh, read between the lines on this. Thing. <laughs> Uh, the roommates were like, oh, shit, oh, shit, because they yeah. never saw anything like He's that. always very physical with men, isn't he? There's something going on. <laughs> Dad was then coming, too, and as he got up, he grabbed my friend's He was coming, ball. too. He was He's coming, too. <laughs> so they were both he coming. He over and shattered. Oh, no. And then he got covered in blood, and he was screaming like a woman. He'll never forget the oh, scream. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's almost like squeal like a pig. I made him squeal like a woman. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your mate, your that's mate, Jimmy, girl, he's like, he's out room, here. Lock the door. He was running up and down the apartment screaming, why, Tasso, why did you do this? I'm going to die. Oh, <laughs> of course, 911 gets called. The whole floor is now out of the rooms looking into our apartment at the blood and the chaos. Blood was on the walls, counters, floors, kitchen, paintings, everywhere. I had no choice but to leave the scene with my girl. I was outside the balcony, and she oh fell God. three feet. Okay, it was not the high story, apparently. I threw my backpack full of money and weed. What is the tassel? What did this guy get into? <laughs> he got into that guy's no ass. That's why, he's, that's why he's bleeding. <laughs> we ran to my car and down the block, watched his cops and ambulance show up, and they were looking for me. <laughs> we did a perimeter check with flashlights. Yeah. Looking After for the ass rapist. We went back, <laughs> cleaned out all the blood. Roommate was still upset. Moral of the story and why it's a confession was, I'm sure there was many ways to solve this, and for some reason I reacted the way I did. I'm sure Jimmy will have some more to say about this. He, right took, there, it, he, I, took, I, it, he took it to the very I'm, violent raping. I, it sounds like a lot of violence going on there. Yeah. Uh, with men. With men yeah. at the first thing, there was lots of did men. I hear, did I hear... Uh, was there panties in there somewhere? No. Oh, I thought I heard <laughs> panties. I, I thought I heard, I heard. I heard. I thought I heard bloody panties. No, the blood got on the paintings on the wall. Oh, this, okay, okay. this guy's really into the. <laughs> this guy's really into the violence and hitting on men. I think that's like a sexual outlet to beat up the men and get all. You know, like when men rape women, it's a power thing. I think Tosso has the same thing with men, and uh -oh. seeing blood is like seeing ejaculation. To hit uh oh. Men. I just love seeing, you know, seeing I, that blood, seeing the blood on his shizoli going into anus is like getting the virgin to him. It's like he just gets so turned on by it. Oh, oh my oh. god. I can't well, say anything. Just, I can't comment on that. I, yeah, I don't know blood. what that response. I can't I got nothing on I got nothing to that. But <laughs> the reason Jimmy's not commenting was because Jimmy no. and Tasso have been out and they got drunk one night and it hits, oh, it hits close to home. This hits close to home for Jimmy, so he doesn't want to elaborate <laughs> on it. Because Jimmy can't yeah. help himself. If Jimmy starts to elaborate, he's going to be like, all right, I got a confession. Tasso and I did go out. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Come on. <laughs> no, we that was a Tasso action, story, but... Jimmy. Come on. He, he's a good kid, man. He, yeah, he and when, when him went he, out. I, I just want to congratulate him. He just had a baby girl. He was so excited. Oh, so I just really? to, yeah, I just want to share that with him. He's a good kid, but, um, man. You know, yeah, he, but um, tell us what happened when you and him went out in the younger days. I, I, never, I never went out with the guy. You know, I mean, I, I, we're mm -hmm. friends. We, we text each other. We, mm -hmm. Once in a while, we call. You know, he's, he's a good the occasional, The occasional dick pic, did you? <laughs> No, no, we no, we didn't no. get to that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, nah, he's a sound guy. He's like one of the. He's like an old school, you know, old soul type kid. He's mm. he's a good kid. He really is. You know, all his mm. stories are probably legitimate. And you know, I don't think there's any sexual hidden uh, stories mm. in his. Uh, oh yeah, thing. let's defend I mean, our uh, friend. We 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 try to say that anyway, right, Lee? <laughs> yeah. yeah well. I got oh, I got the visions instantly, so I can't hold back. I'm sorry. You know, I did too. I was trying to hold back a little bit, you know, but I I do. You know, when you get the visions, I get the visions too. Mm -hmm. So I I you know, but he's a he's a good kid. He really is. Yeah, we're, not say, we're not saying he's not good, but we just saw what really happened. <laughs> In the visions, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> well, hopefully uh, you didn't get in too much trouble that night and you got yeah. out of there. And uh, uh, he kept his uh, virginity. And hope hope that young man that got all the blood and whatever, they didn't do a rape kit on him. They did a rape kit on him? I think so, and they got Tasso's DNA and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what is, is, that why they, is that why they said they're looking for him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he had God. a bag. He had a bag full of money and weed. He has the little local drug Yeah, that was the best part. Just, that was another, I had to that was gather. I, said, I stuffed my bag of money and weed. <laughs> the money and the weed. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He was living a colorful life. For what? Right. Back in the booth. Look at Jimmy. He's really hungry. Those pretzels. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to get a walk. burger. I'm telling you. Isn't, isn't you, guys funny got me, you, you guys got me crazy with the hamburgers. When Dude, you, I am starving. You, you, isn't it funny how good pretzels actually taste when you starving? <laughs> oh, guys. I think we got a good one. Wait oh. a minute. Hold on. I got to recommend these. What do we got here? What is that? These, what is that first Lutz, letter the, supposed the, to be? The Lutz. These are the Lutz. It's an L. Lutz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I want pretzel runs. Very, very good pretzels right here. Oof. All right. Pretzel runs. Brought to you. This episode brought to you by Rutz or Lutz, whatever it is. Lutz pretzel rods. That's what I got here. Brought to you by Lutz. Pretzel. Thank you. Thanks, Lutz. This next confession <laughs> brought to you by Lutz pretzel rods. I couldn't, the title is I couldn't help myself but to spy. Uh-oh. Uh, no, not on his mother. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Hi, Tyler. I have a bit of a confession to get off my chest. <laughs> hey, Thomas. No. I'm 37. My wife is 32. We've been oh. married for nine years. Okay. A little back, a little story. Oh, oh the visions are coming. Context. <laughs> About a month ago, my wife told me her best friend from high school who lives out of state who she has kept in contact with needed somewhere to stay as she recently broke up with her BF, blah, blah, blah. Oh, boy. Oh, I wasn't boy. happy about it at first because I was I like our quiet life. I didn't really want oh. some woman in our house that I've never met there. Anyway, my wife begged me and said it would be just for a short amount of time until she finds a new place. So we moved oh, the stuff boy. out of the spare room so she could have her own. Anyway, she shows up. I was surprised to see she is a really hot African-American woman. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Thick in all the right places, nice thick round butt, perky boobs with a pretty face. Oh, ooh. oh, and for context, he and his wife are white. She's a very nice lady, very polite and friendly. She settled in her room, we moved all her stuff into. Oh man, so I guess we can see where this is going. Clearly, he's got the hots for her. I see it too. I, I mean, I, you know, she sounds yeah, pretty hot. Little, little, anyway, little, 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 little 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 like, got a week ago, I came back from because we finished our job early. We went straight into the yard from the side gate of the house to put some tools away. I heard the shower was on from the yard. We don't have curtains up on one of the windows in the bathroom because one of the plastic curtain poles fell. But whatever, he doesn't have curtains on it. I looked through the window because <laughs> I thought it was my wife. Okay, I don't, I, did you? Would you even take that chance if you if you knew? Would, would, would his wife be using, would his my, wife I was using a nice power? big juicy round chocolate ass facing me and uh, shiny and wet from the water. Oh, see, it took time to get the detail. Mm. <laughs> she had her back to me, didn't see me. I stepped back around the corner from the window and my heart was racing. I knew I shouldn't look again, but I couldn't help myself. So I looked again and was Short watching bed. her shower, started getting hard. I thought to myself, don't do it. Oh no! <laughs> but he did. About two minutes later, you can guess where things finaled. And then I just went in the house and acted like nothing happened. I kind of feel guilty after. Yeah, you should. After for my wife, because I just jerked it to her friend's power. You guys think I did anything wrong by spying on her for a couple of minutes and stroking it? Or was it just a harmless jerk off? Your holy advice is appreciated. Bombshell confession. Yeah. Thank you for your confession. Woo! Wow. I think, I think it's just a harmless jerk off, but he knew what he was doing. He says, I thought it could have been my wife. For one, your wife probably never no. used that shower or bathroom. Right. So you knew it wasn't your wife. You knew it was going to be her. And you're out there because you already planned in your head, hey, if she uses that shower, there's no curtain. And if I'm outside, I'll be able to look. So he knew exactly what he was doing. But Absolutely. I think he should actually, I think he should actually put it on her. I think he should actually. Sneak into the room and try give her a little, little finger pop at night. Maybe oh, I don't, that's a get good idea. Together, get together with the wife and the missus. Start drinking, 
play silly games like strip poker, do a little bit of on the table and see who's last man standing and really get into it. Because, you know, you mix that into it. As Jimmy says, you never know what will happen. That's true. At this point, you know, okay, so my unorthodox advice would be, I think, first of all, you, it's not okay because I think you're violating two different people's trust. Oh, know? my God. Listen to, listen to Tyler. <laughs> you can't secret jerk oh, off to people. You're such a holy man, Tyler. You're so holy. Being a deep in Tom is one thing, but he's he's pleasuring himself to a woman. She's well, got he's to- showing yeah. you that he's not racist. She was a black American woman. If what he didn't that? beat off, if he didn't beat off, if he didn't beat so, off seeing But you're right. Reed. He has a unique opportunity. He basically, it's like uh, you can live with you can live with the guilt for the rest of your life and never tell your wife. B, you can go ahead and see if you can get a sexy party and a little threesome action going. What do you think, well, Jimmy? CNN and Joy Reid and him and the people on The View will say he's racist if he didn't beat off to us. They'll be like, what, the black lady? You're right. That's exactly punk? what they would say. You know? <laughs> right. So, yeah. So I can understand, rather than being labeled a racist, he beat off to it to prove that, you know, he loves all women of all colors. <laughs> Jimmy? And then when the gardener Jose come around, he beat off the Jose as well, being a Mexican. So he just wanted to show that, you know. It's really beautiful. Really and he beat wow. off the Jose's 20 kids. So, you know. Really, we got our diversity. So uh, I, I have to say, uh, you know, Lee was right on one point. The man knew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the man knew yeah. that it was going to be her in the shower. He, he knew. Mm-hmm. Come on. You know, the, the shower has no curtain, whatever the hell it is. His, mm. his wife probably never uses that shower because exactly. he's got no right. You know, so he he was he was hoping that it was her. That's why he went up there and he did that. You know, so then when he went up, so he said that he went up in the, in the hallway and he peeked around the door and he saw her chocolate ass all wet with the water and everything. Yeah, he was outside, wasn't he? I thought he was outside. Oh, I he was don't outside know. and he saw from the outside window. looking through the window outside. Oh, he's like outside. Yeah, so he made a more conscious effort like to go creep. outside, <laughs> pretend, that it, pretend that he's doing guard, yard, yard work. Yeah, quote unquote, really, really get after it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I, I have to say that the chocolate ass <laughs> with the water, you know, on, on the, and then it made you imagine ass, like Pam Greer? Yeah, you know, made it like nice and shiny, the chocolate ass. Mm. I, I could see him being turned on by that. You know, actually, be like, it'd be like a glazed be. chocolate donut. But what you but what you do is you go wow okay I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna move on and not gonna violate you know you gotta you can't yeah, you just know, go you're back, going back for a second peek to see if she's bending over to see if you can see well, the little I, I, brown I, I, listen I guarantee mm. that next week when we do the confessions that this man's gonna continue the story those three ended up in the yeah. bed I would love it. I, we'll have to find out. I guarantee it because that's what really he never told the wife either way. Leaving. Well, he doesn't. His wife's leaving and the best friend's moving in. <laughs> you got to oh, gotta tell the wife or you got to just do a sexy little threesome. Or, or they're going to have a threesome and the wife and the best friend are going to get together and kick him out. Or that. Uh, yeah, that could be too. That oh, yeah. Too. That's a poss- That's a distinct yeah. possibility. There's uh, many, many roads uh, to be taken here. But yes. uh, I'm thinking that. <laughs> However, and none of them, up, none of them at a high road. They're all <laughs> no, 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 not very much at all. It's it's definitely gonna. What they're gonna do it. They're gonna do a three zero. There's, yeah. there's no doubt. Well, about ideally, that. they're gonna go out, have a few drinks, come home. Drinks will yeah. lead in other stuff, and yeah, if the yeah. powder comes out, and other stuff. Oh comes yeah. Out. oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody, somebody throws a package on the coffee table. No, oh, it's over. That's the end. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. All bets yeah. are off. <laughs> if, the, if, the little, if the little MDMA and the roofies come out of it. The setup could be there. It, it, it's mean, good night, Cosby. It's fucking... The, the, the devil's powder, baby. It's very, uh, very in a bad. way, his wife opened Pandora's box, bringing his variable in. They can Absolutely. Always play, they can I was always just play thinking her. that, Tyler. Yes. Yeah. I was... Listen, before, you know, anything... I was thinking that in the beginning mm-hmm. is that this woman brought her in here and yeah. she probably got shit on her mind. Yeah. That's why she brought this girl in there. And I oh, told man. You, I'm so curious how this is going to pan out. And I told you, honey, I didn't want to hear a one that just being us. I told you it'd be uncomfortable. And now look what happened. You caused this by bringing her here. That's right. 
it can't he can't just stay quiet about this little secret jerk off. It's got to go one way. Oh, it, it definitely went. It went farther. There's no doubt about it. You know, what I mean, it's good. You think on. it's gonna? She this is gonna complicate. This, this is gonna snowball. Oh, if she looked out the window absolutely. and saw him jerking off, then she started. Come on, she's in the shower with no with no curtain with no with no curtain on the window. Just come on, she knew it too. Oh uh, yeah, the, 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 she the, probably the, saw it. Know. She might have been trying to get out of there as quick as she could, feeling very self conscious because there's no yeah, fucking. Yeah, I doubt it. I, I, I'm sure she was soaping herself up nice and nice. Uh, yeah, the and back, it, and the, the thing legs. is, too, if it's during the day for one, she's you're probably, probably putting your arms up in the air and doing the breast and you know, yeah, oh my god, god. when you give me. When you shower at night with the lights off for one, if you're doing it during the day, you know the you can be off. seen. Or if it's at night time and she's got the light on, knowing she can up? be seen. Absolutely. She, she knew. Yeah, that's all the setup. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's going to write back next week. He's going to tell mm. us the rest of that story. And, and I then, tell you the truth, you need to tell us him. the rest of that. you, you, you got to get it off your chest. You need to tell <sighs> us the rest of that story to redeem yourself. And then because as I was you outside, you should definitely... I noticed my wife hopped in the shower with her as I was stroking it outside. <laughs> Did my wife know that I was watching them? At this oh, the, rate, the I say wife, the wife. Oh, the wife was party. in the shower maybe too. Like, let's have some yeah. drinks tonight. Let's all have yeah. fun. Let's see where. Let's see, maybe something can get. You know, that's the only redemption from this. That's the thing. That's what you do. You get them all drunk. You get on the you bit gotta, of the devil's powder, and then. Your wife and her <laughs> are doing shit, right? Yeah, that get one. them to make out. Is yeah, either get them to make out or just tell them that, like, and if they start finger popping, doing the scissors, you can join in at any time. And if she says anything, say, "Hey, you went first. You started it. You've done it. Now it's my turn." So she can't say shit if she started it. But guess what? If the girl that's staying with him is like, "Ew, hell no! This guy's a creep." All bets are off, and you're oh, probably gonna lose your then, marriage. Then you just go bonk on the head and wider unconscious at it. Or listen to, to Father Lee up in the top right. You know, yeah, you, 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 you Cosby them both. If they fucking just Cosby them both. Knock them just, out. Just, just, just get that Jello yeah. spiked. Oh yeah, get the old Bill Cosby method going and woo. <laughs> and bit of the Jello. Yeah. Okay. That way, the next day they won't even know what happened. An acoustic <laughs> intermission. Just, <laughs> let me just find some Zen. I like <sighs> the Zen breath. Music. The piano. We don't breathe enough. Yeah. I'm in. You know? I'm in the bathroom here. I, I'm going to the bathroom. I, I got a Woody <laughs> from the from the soothing acoustic. Yes. No, from the story of the shower. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Still, so Give me a minute. I got to break out the KY over here. Just give me a I'm second. grossed <laughs> out. The brown, this the brown a... buns, Jimmy. Think of the brown buns glistening under the shower. <laughs> this isn't gonna give play. Me, go give for it, Jimmy. Go for it, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, go for it. Drunk it, drunk it, Jimmy. This doesn't give play. Give me a minute over here. <laughs> <laughs> go, Jimmy. Go, 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 Jimmy. Go. <laughs> All right, we better squeeze in. Oh, wow, he's shaking the whole phone. We better squeeze in another confession. Okay, I'm back. All right, perfect timing. <laughs> Switching gears. Let's see. Okay, that's a follow. Maybe we'll get back I can't to that. Hear you. I'm going to three and four. <laughs> How many confessions do we do, Tyler? We're, we're, doing, we're getting through a couple here. We have a follow up from the trauma, the child trauma. Sorry, take three. Childhood trauma story <laughs> with the exorcist was, thing. Was that the guy remember? under? Was that the guy under the staircase that got beaten from his uh, father? No, no you guys made that up. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was the guy that was like his grandparents would pay for an exorcist that would suck on him. Oh, that's remember? right. Yeah, suck his chest. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. What happened? <laughs> you don't remember? I get the Indian. Wasn't he a? Wasn't he an Indian guy that would come over and do the exorcist and suck his yeah, chest like, or belly? I can't know. I can't. He was just like he was just like a, a kid with ADD or whatever it was, and his grandparents were like, "We must get to the exorcist," and then they would bring him over. Yeah. And uh, they were doing. Suck, they were suck sucking on his, on his nipples chest or his stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but listen, he has more. He has a follow up. Oh. There's more things I want to share about the exorcism thing. The grandparents oh, we already know. This I think exorcist. we covered it. I, I think never, we covered this, it. This is, this is weird. It is weird. He used to suck on not only my body parts, but my younger brother. And one day he sucked on my mother's stomach by giving the excuse 
that he's taking the demon out of her. Yeah, this guy's just that. stuck on everyone's stomachs. Yeah, I like it. Guys, okay, my mom was so angry about that incident, but the grandparents the calmed her down and caused everyone in the family respected the grandparents. My mom forgave them by warning them not to call that weird exorcist in the house. That weird exorcist used to ask my parents to sacrifice pigs to get rid of the demons, which is a superstition, but many people, including my parents, believed it. And the grandparents did just that. The story continues. I hope they at least ate the pig afterwards. And after the exorcist passed away, the grandparents used to take me to other exorcists that would ask for a lot of money, and the parents would give it to them. Many people in rural areas of India believe in ghosts and bad spirits, and that these exorcists make money by scamming these people. The Confessional Show is the best show on YouTube. Keep up the God's work. Thank you, our Indian brother. You know, I got to say, I, I just checked the house. I was hearing noises inside. Oh, that, shit. That, that whole exorcist story with the with the pigs and stuff like that. Oh. I was hearing it. Yes, the level spirits uh, I, I was hearing a, I was hearing a knocking noise inside just now on my door because I got the office door closed. I opened it up. No, nobody's there. But I, I, I looked at the house quickly. You know, and I had the front Very. door open. I had to shut it. And meanwhile, actually, Gringo Priest has gone dark. There's a lot of spooky stuff happening. Oh yeah, what happened to Lee? Look at that. I don't even. I, I can move you around. Look at that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of weird shit going on in this world, man. And it's all. It's in the air. It's 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 you know surrounding people's lives. There he is. Oh, there he is. Uh, my happened? friend called in. Same friend that calls all the time. I tell him I'm doing a podcast. He's like, <laughs> I'll meet you. I meet at the garage at 12 o'clock. That's in an hour, 10 minutes. So I'm like, oh. I'm, I had to text him. I'm doing a podcast. You know, I do a podcast this time every day. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. We, th we thought you got abducted by spirits. Or so. Cause when, yeah, when you disappeared, I started hearing noises on my on my office door, and I had to check the house. I, I got a little I got a little concerned. Well, you, know? you went to the bathroom. I had to go rub one out, too, after that. <laughs> <laughs> God. Jesus. I don't know. Something about that chocolate ass has got me crazy. I, 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 I got to get that image. What, I, what's what's, the what's guy, white? The guy what's put an white? Image. And comes what's white and comes from the sky uh lightning the coming huh? of the lord the coming of the lord yeah ah, the coming good. of jesus or coming of god whatever you want yeah 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 that's right that's right what does that got to do with the chocolate ass i don't understand i'm, I'm not making <laughs> a connection god's for looking at the chocolate ass and he's sprinkling us <laughs> all with his cheese <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I gotta next get time there. it that, snows that, on you, see, next time it snows on you, just remember, God is watching porn. See that? See, you gotta be careful what you put in your mind because you see that that confession there with the kid spying on that woman in the bathroom mm. with the chocolate ass with the with the water, nice <laughs> making it shot. You know, it's it was a it was a it was a heavy visual. You know, it what, was demonic. What, what number? What number is that in your porn search, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> It's in there, I know. It. That's, probably, uh, two, two, 225, that's 225. That's one of the ones you didn't delete. Yeah, it was, yeah. Hot chocolate. God <laughs> damn. I confess, you know, it's, it's, it was a very sexu oh. sexual story, I have to say. It was. It was uh, you know, I, it put the image in my mind. And, you know, that, you know, I guess with those little, God, with those know, little tight us. black jerry curls on the vagina. Oh, uh, Jesus. Listen, God warns us in the Bible that we have to be careful what we put in our mind. Oh, does what he? comes out of our absolutely, hundred percent. And what so we you say to, on YouTube, you, know, you, you got to watch what comes out of your tongue, and you have to be careful what you what you look at and what you put in your mind. It's very Let important. Let the words of our mouth. It could be the, 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 the destruction of you. Our hearts. It could be the destruction of you. Truly. What's that bony? Absolutely. Song? So you know that Kim song about the words of our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly. Do you think do you think Jesus, when he was like wandering around with his disciples and just people following him, that you know, the odd occasion when he's out there in the desert, the Sinai Desert or wherever, that uh -huh. he jumped he jumped behind that burning bush and had a little whack? Do you think Jesus jerked off? Wait a minute, hold on, excuse me, hold on, back up a minute, Lee. The burning well, bush of Mount him. Sinai is Moses. <laughs> That's not Jesus. I know, but you don't think Jesus <laughs> behind the bush and gave it away? No, it wasn't Jesus Christ. If you if you if you watch the series, I know it's Moses, okay, well, but in I'm, general, just, I'm just asking. Do you think he went behind the bush too and gave it away? <laughs> I think Jesus jerked off. I think is a valid question. You don't think, you don't think, you don't think when he walked across water, he goes, 
oh my god i'm walking on water how exciting is this take that fucking fish. he just starts take fapping that. right there yeah right on the water wouldn't you that'd be like the biggest excitement that you're walking on the ocean wouldn't you just get loud and spank it there on the ocean I don't know if it would arouse me oh uh, come on you can show that so whale much. show that whale the whale coming up going Psh. you'd be like yeah i'll show you whale like you. <laughs> like you. lee you're gonna have to redeem yourself tonight <laughs> I, I want you to, after the show, I want you to light a candle. No. Say no, some <laughs> And I want you to ask for forgiveness. And pour that and, wax and, over and, my shalom solely. Whatever you got to do. Pour the wax. Whatever you got to do. Light your, light your uh, nuts on fire. Whatever Intense. it takes to, <laughs> to redeem your soul tonight. I, I'm going to pray for you tonight after the show that mm -hmm. you come back to the cloth. <laughs> And stop letting Satan pull you on to the other side. <laughs> Come on. All right. Come on. That's you don't right. think Jesus. Let's, let's take a question. You remember those bracelets? What would Jesus do? I like I the watch, by the way. Thank you. I want Yeah, bracelets. I was looking at that. Is that a G-Shock? Yeah. Yeah. I know. G, that's the S-Force, the new S-Force range. I like that. It they is come a G-Shock. They come. No, S-Force. Oh, S-Force. S -Force. My yeah. sponsor. They got them in gray, fluoro green, yellow, pink. It's That's pretty new, like carbon, carbon type. But now, back to it, where where they says, what would <laughs> what would Jesus do? I, I was trying know, to get him off the subject, Lee. Did Jesus, did Jesus <laughs> whack it? At some point in his life, Jesus, I Jesus must have woke up with a heart on and thought, <laughs> I'm going to spank it to Mary or oh. something. Did he? <laughs> no. His mother? Come on. He was still a man. He had needs. Come on. He wasn't like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did they even reckon that Jesus might have had a baby somewhere out there? There could be a child of Jesus out there somewhere. I don't Listen, know. You know, you know, we don't really I know did. 100%. He probably tried it once just to know what it felt like. Yeah. he was human. Of course. That's what I'm saying. He must have had needs. And he looked at a beautiful woman and goes, hey, holy hell, the old, the old fucking... Jesus Christ, fucking he Shazoli. Got just, if he was human. They got erected, yeah. yeah. Lee, Even one day, he I was... How many children do Jesus has out there? How many J Jesus children are walking around? The... <laughs> On that note, I'm going to have another pretzel and another simple one. Ah, I got to have a pretzel. Brought to you by Lutz Pretzel Rods. Come on. Day. Let's just say you were Jesus, Jimmy, and you know you're the son of God, and you've been put on earth. You're going around giving all these talks, and in these talks, the people that come and listen to you, you're standing there, you're feeling the power that all these people, you know, it's like when you did your bench press, and everyone's like, Jimmy, Jimmy, and you get all this <laughs> stuff, and you see the beautiful girls. Jesus is standing there on the mountain, giving, you know, blessed are the peacemakers. Oh, fuck, she's hot. Whoa, <laughs> wink, wink. I'll see you after this fucking sermon. You don't think Jesus dragged a few back to the manger and fucking gave them some like you in the stables, Jimmy? Lee, I see, I see, I actually see horns coming out of your head. <laughs> Jesus had a horn too, Jimmy. Let me tell you. <laughs> First of all, so you saying that Jesus so, never had sex? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't, I don't listen. I really don't. He, he definitely was a man. Mm. I'm sure he had. And they just wore those cloths around, no underwear. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he had temptations and desires yeah. as a man because. But, that, but that's not a temptation. Know. If you're single and there's a beautiful woman, they tell us that should, that's a natural thing that a man and a woman consummating their love together is a natural thing. It's not like a bad thing. So why wouldn't he have done it if it's what we're meant to do? If we're meant to breed and spread our seeds you don't think jesus said hey fuck i'm jesus son of god i need to fucking spread my seed i'm fucking top dog here <laughs> there's a legitimate question i'm asking you don't think he ever plowed it and fucking left the seed and had a kid Lee, i think me and you are gonna have to have a discussion in private <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna to have to get together. I'm not talking to you, Tyler. Do you think Jesus ever had a sex and spread his seed? I'll talk to someone who can actually give me a fucking answer. Tyler, do you think that as a man Tyler's not gonna answer you? He is. I might. Stay out of it. Mute Jimmy. It, uh, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> he would have he would have wanted to know what it feels like. And it's such a natural thing, a man and a woman who are in love to consummate their love, or maybe Jesus got secretly Jesus married. Huh? Is that what you're asking? Do I think Jesus had sex with a woman? Yeah. I think Jesus had sex with a man. Oh, I was going to say that too. <laughs> back then. Now I'm just saying then, shit to stir up the pot, though. Yeah, oh, back shit, then. You got to remember. 
But you got to remember, back then too, it would have been a natural thing because a lot of the Romans did. And back then, it was the oh, Bible. Yeah. The Bible was not was yet written. So he, he he made the wine for the party, Lee. They no, probably had did. an orgy. Yeah, turned water to wine. It's and then so it was much like, wine, the wine flowed. And you got to remember, flowed. there was no Bible. So this shit about homosexuals and sleeping with men that was not heard of yet. So he was just plowing whoever bent over in front of him he on the mountain. Make the Bible yet? He was yeah, he was doing yeah. this stuff still. Yeah, and then he had a bad asshole. He goes, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to write a Bible and say no homosexuality because that last guy had the fucking runs, got, got shit all over my dick. I'm going to outlaw this stuff because it's fucking terrible. So, you know, oh, Jesus yeah, had his fun. He, 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 he plowed a few asses. He plowed a few asses. He got a bad ass. He said, you know what? To stop my fellow man having a bad ass, I'm going to make it a fucking sin just so they don't do it yeah, because like Jesus Jesus had a bad meal at a restaurant. He goes, you're never going back to that restaurant again because of fucking one yeah, bad yeah, meal. Yeah, you get one bad meal, you hate the restaurant. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, do you, do you agree, ask Jimmy? I a question. Is this the same man that I'm hearing right now <laughs> yes. who brought me that beautiful crucifixion from the Vatican? <laughs> yes. Is How same... far has he fallen from grace? Oh. Where'd you, where'd you get <laughs> Jimmy, what happened? You went black. You got struck by lightning. <laughs> We've lost him. Jimmy's gone. Oh, man. See? Look you at Jimmy so using gone. the Lord's name in vain. He just, trying gave to... he just gave you the wait a minute finger. Yeah, He's Jimmy just got watch bling too. Jimmy just got bling. shut down by God himself. We're all rocking our watch bling. He's fucking pissed now. Oh, he's fucking angry. You can tell. <laughs> Jimmy, we're going here. Jimmy, look at that. He tried to go on and the Lord just strike him down. <laughs> well, clearly you're on to something, this beautiful dude. cross. Boom, black screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The Vatican could have that, could have that better, could you? I don't think the Vatican's going to be happy with this episode. <laughs> <laughs> like we've never had the Pope in the picture before and done anything <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Why this one? <laughs> Where is the Pope? How is he? He's just over there. He's been over. He's been over there. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally bent over in front of me there. <laughs> oh shit! I miss he's in, he's I in the presumed position that the Pope's normally in. <laughs> we gotta get him. Get him back in the mix next episode. Where's Jimmy? He'll, you know, he's probably angrily talking to someone or trying to figure this out. Incidentally, we're running at the end of the clock, so yeah. we, uh, we're out of the confession booth, suffice we're to almost, say. Yeah, we're almost at two hours already. Yeah. Yeah, we'll switch to the, the Bible reading graphic okay, now. Yeah, we're, go. we're going to the end parables. We'll have Jimmy come in and close the show. Yeah. Ask, if, he, ask if, he, if he can reattach to us. Uh, here he is. Here he comes. You see now, in. you see what just happened now. I got this mysterious call. Jimmy, oh. Jimmy, as soon as you said the cross from the Vatican, everything went black. <laughs> yeah, because listen, because God, of the was just, God was. I I can't get involved in a conversation like this about oh, so God just cut you out, you know, did he? I'm I'm a, I'm a man of the cloth, a man of faith. <laughs> I could talk about people's confessions and, and the shit they do yeah. because they're human beings and everybody fucks up, but I can't talk about the Lord. And when you were talking about the Lord, I got this mysterious uh, no caller ID number. It just <laughs> blocked me right off the show when you were, when you were ranting right on about your, well, and, and well, then Tyler well, and then Tyler's saying that Jesus was was a, with a man. Yeah. I can't I can't hear this. You can't hear that. But, but it wasn't no can't hear it. So I thought so Tyler fucking, was going to say something fucking, nice. <laughs> but fucking and out and laying with one's neighbor wasn't written into the verses back then, so they were just going whole hog. Yeah, man. He almost spit his wine out. He almost spit his white wine. Oh my god. It went yeah. up my nose. No, the no. Lord, the Lord experienced it for the Lord gave it in the ass and took it in the ass so you don't have to. So he wrote in the Bible, do not do it. I've had a few bad experiences. I had to walk around fucking the deserts with like cum dripping out of me. So I'm oh. going to make it a law that no one oh, does Jimmy. it. You just lay That's with your wife. I, I, I fucked a few of my neighbors in the Please. in the nearby mangers and I've had these Egyptians chasing me for days. I know what's, I know what's You're breaking here. Jimmy's heart. I know what's happening here. I know what's happening. What's happening, Jimmy? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening is, you know, here we are, three men of the cloth, yeah. and 
you two are the the weaker link. So it's happening. Oh. Oh. That's that's so Satan. Speak the truth. Satan. Speak the truth. <laughs> Satan is attacking your minds, the both of you. Oh, he got me by the balls. I, I do got you because you're the one that said that he was with a man. Lee was just talking about uh, other shit. You you came out with, uh, with the man. I stuff. hadn't, I hadn't yeah. got to that yet, Jimmy, because laying with a man had not been written as a law, a sin yet. So it was all free uh -huh. range. It was like yeah. free <laughs> range. It was all free just going range. At it. Peck, 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 no peck, peck, rules, peck. baby. Yeah. Oh my God! How did we go from confessions so, to so talking let's, about Jesus? So let's Jesus get back Christ. to it, Jimmy. Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus had sex with a woman during his lifetime? I really can't answer that because I'll be honest with you, he was a you man. Wrote, what, what, wait a minute! Wait a minute! You're, you're you're talking about a guy who you say he turned water to wine. He fucking had two fish and three loaves. He fed thousands. Had baskets left over. He walked on water. He calmed the seas. You can say he did all that, but you can't say wherever he got his fucking dick wet. Lee, it's amazing that you know all the... You, you know all I do, the, I do. What, what's fascinating is that you know all the stories. That's what scares me. And what yes. happens is, I think you're... But totally, now I have questions, Jimmy. I have questions. Yes, you Did do. You, 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 you do have questions. So what's <laughs> happening is you're torn between the Lord and the Scriptures and, you, and, 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 you know, and reality Satan, and, and the truth. And, and, I'm and Satan, the truth. So, because you have knowledge of, you see, there's there's an old saying: the more knowledge you have, the more you lean towards God, the more the devil attacks you. The so more knowledge I have, the more I lean away because they can't answer my questions, like I'm asking you now: Did Jesus have sex? How would I know? I wasn't there. So well, you weren't I mean, there when he walked on water, but you fucking <laughs> believe that. You weren't there when he fucking turned water to wine, but you believe uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you believe Moses spoke to a burning bush? You oh weren't there. You believe God. fucking lot this you know wife turned I was around and turned to a pillar gonna, of salt. The walls of Jericho gonna, come down from some fucking trumpets. You believe night, all that, no, but you no. don't believe that he got his fucking tip wet. Come on, come on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just looking at the time because I was just gonna like light a candle here after the show and pray for you. But now I'm actually going to get in my car <laughs> and I'm going down to the St. Patrick's uh, Church. You'll we'll film it for I'm me. Gonna, film gonna, it for me. I will. And I'm going to light some candles for you tonight, brother. Because you need, you need, you need, listen. That's I, a simple I understand question, what's happening. Jimmy, that I'm asking yeah. you. Uh -huh. You say the earth's flat and that sort of stuff. It is. This isn't a, this isn't a harder question as that. It's just did the Lord during his time as Jesus wandering the lands, giving all these sermons, meet a nice lady, and fall in love or have love, have sex. Like Mary Magdalene, didn't they say she might have been with Jesus and had his child? Yes. yes. Jimmy, do you believe in this conspiracy? I am impressed with the stories, man. I really am. You, you have a lot of knowledge of scriptures. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's it's scary. So, you know. Yeah. And I have scriptures is... and I need answers because you, you, you believe in the Bible. You're a very Christian man. So who... <laughs> Better to ask than a man who, you know, he, he goes for the flat earth. So I know that you're uh, open-minded. Okay, you, you're you, open-minded. You, you, You've lit come off your chest, off your uh, throat, ah, mate. So I'm is. thinking, who else to ask but Jimmy? Did Jesus dip the old wick? Okay. So you want my take on the whole thing? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You need help. That's number one. But besides that, <laughs> besides that, we are gonna. We're, I'm gonna give you my version of the whole okay. thing. Okay. So I yes, I do read scriptures. Mm -hmm. I do believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. I yeah. do pray to God. I do pray to mm -hmm. Jesus because Jesus said the only way to the Father is through Him. So I go mm -hmm. by that word and I pray to Jesus for forgiveness. So Jesus. When he says you got to go through him, does he mean that literally? Like you got to go through him, like he did before? No, the... no. Like it's it's it, no. It's uh, what is oh. it? What's the word I'm looking for? Metaphorical. It's like it's a oh, yeah. symbology. You know, like it, go through mm. him, like you know, like mm. that. You know. Oh. So, mm -hmm. Baxter's going crazy. The hell is that? <laughs> it's Baxter. I'm sorry. <laughs> sounds, I thought you had a fucking pet bat in your house. It's, it's, him, it's, it's Tyler rubbing one out. Just keep going, Jimmy. Carry on. So you know, <laughs> oiling up, oil so, up, Tyler. <laughs> you know, uh, that's what it if, sounds if, like when I do it. If you, if rusty, you, if rusty you read, if, if you read the scriptures, listen. Yes, we've read them. I know it's very hard for a lot of people. To <laughs> yes, I've read them. He says. <laughs> what do you say? He goes. Yes, says, I've yes, read I've read them. them. I've read the Dead Sea Scrolls. I've read the couple of passages that were torn out and not put in. 
a fairly right, old. Well, yes. I got to read some burger scriptures, so we got to wrap this. Look, Jimmy has an answer. It's a simple yes or no. Did the Lord <laughs> lay with a woman and have sex and maybe have <laughs> and a or baby? man and or hey, several men? Know, how did this whole thing land on me? I don't understand. Because so you're like, a man of the cloth and believe in Jesus and that. But and, you are too. He was wearing, a man. You're the and you got to remember all these Tyler's laws that we Jesus have now. Getting all the laws out. about yeah, laying I mean, with thy neighbor, I, I, laying with I, thy I, neighbor. I, and it, these laws weren't around then. So he had free He had free fucking go at it. There was no Ten Commandments <laughs> when there was fucking Jesus. There was no Bible written about you can't do this, you can't do that. He was like a little horny fucker running around the fucking desert <laughs> plowing. plowing the, he could have like 10 children out there for all we know. Well, actually, you're wrong because when when Jesus oh, was, was, was was impotent, when he when he was walking the earth and preaching, yeah, okay, that's that's how the whole Bible actually came to be. It was yeah, but they Jesus. wrote it after him. It was written after him. Well, they wrote it after him. Yes, they did. Because... Yeah. So when he was doing all this, there was no law saying that he couldn't lay with his neighbor's wife. There was no law saying that he couldn't go bang fucking Michael or whoever. One of his the Old Testament, or was yeah, it? but it wasn't as good. Come on. <laughs> the Old Testament well, was a actually, bit of a horny one. Actually, his 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 teachings that's what led to the scriptures. Mm. So yeah, he was talking about all you that. Know, stuff. You know, I think when he mentioned about the cock the cock crowing twice, he was talking about something that was <laughs> No, when he was, when on, he was Jim, talking about the when he was talking about the cock crowing. Yeah, he, 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 he read he, into he, it, Jimmy. <laughs> Oh my God! You're badly today. What the hell? What did you do right, today? Did, on that did note, did, did you, did you, <laughs> what, what happened to you tonight? You man? still can't miss the flat earth for everything. You're so open-minded, but when it comes to Jesus spreading his seed, I've got you at this fucking thing where you can't even give an answer. <laughs> I'm trying to give an answer, but every time I give an answer, you you're throwing some satanic shit at me every time I try to open my mouth. <laughs> satanic. That's real life shit. <laughs> Uh, no, it's that Tyler, Tyler comes it's, to the party. It's, it's, he answered, it's, it's, Tyler it's answered blasphemy. like that. It's okay. blasphemy. Tyler answered like that. In one minute, Jimmy, give us your answer. Go. What's the question again? No. <laughs> Did Jesus <laughs> lay with a woman and spread his seed and maybe have some children? I can't answer that. I I, I really don't oh, know. Why can't you answer? I wasn't. If there, I said Did Jesus I... walk, I said if I said Did Jesus walk on water, you say yes. You got no proof of that, but you say yes. So. <laughs> I'm saying, did he have sex? You don't have to prove. Well, the Just got to believe. <laughs> and I believe oh he fucking God. plowed his way through the fucking oh, desert. Oh, my God. Lee. We got to talk, man. <laughs> we are talking. We're, We're talking right now, but I don't hear any answers <laughs> coming back to my inquiring mind. I got an inquiring mind and you're not helping me. Well, what happened to you today? Did you have a bad day? Did you, did you get up on a roof? <laughs> <I'm> at McDonald's. <laughs> Listen, well, submit your on, stories. We're on the show screen. to help the people and, and go through their confessions and all that. There, you know, well, you're not helping you're, anyone because you can't so, answer the question. Listen, everything your honor, I, your honor. I want to say the witness is being belligerent and he's not answering the questions. Your honor, have him I'm removed. trying to answer the question. So the, 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 thing, the, the thing is, you know, whatever's written in the scriptures, you have you can't believe in one part of the scripture and not believe the other part of the scripture. This doesn't yeah, work that but way. But they so weren't written when he was out there. They weren't written yet when he was doing his thing. No, they were like seven. So there was no law. Imagine, imagine you growing up with no laws, Jimmy, and then you've done everything. You've banged this person, banged that person. Look, Tyler, he's, taking his, he's taking his cloth off. I'm done. Right? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it's done. It shirts off. Submit uh, your story. Fuck this. Season. Fuck this religion. Fuck it. He's out. I asked for one simple question. Questions. You can't give me a fucking answer. I'm like Jesus Christ. I'm going like, <laughs> to use his name in vain all day. Uh, but there's no oh laws, so God. Jesus. Jesus just roamed around breaking every sin because there was no law that say it was a sin. So he just fucking went crazy. That's why they fucking crucified him. They said, you're one horny Randy bastard. Stop banging all the girls in the desert and the boys. We're going to put you up on the cross to show and the what boys. happens if you go fucking ape shit having orgies in the desert. We're going to crucify you. And that's what happened. That's why he got crucified. That's a true story. I'm getting the fucking messages. Oh, my God. Jimmy won't answer the question, honey, oh, whether Jesus I, had sex listen, or not. Not only I'm going to light candles, I'm going to I'm burn incense. I'm going to ask incense. Rachel. Rachel, did you? I'm going to burn sex? incense tonight, too. <laughs> I was going to ask Rachel, and she just shut the door in my face. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what'd she do? <laughs> she came in and she just gave me a look. I said, Jimmy won't answer the question. Did Jesus have sex? She goes, no. And she just shut the door and walked off. Oh, oh. well, that's two for now. She didn't want to be a part of it. Oh, God. But well, you know, you know, Tyler, we both know, if there's no laws 
wouldn't you just run amok doing whatever? Who could say? Oh, I never. Yeah, not yeah, till now. Start, not till now. Right. We get the book of the Lord, yeah. and we go, "Oh shit, we can't get it. If we get that, we're going to hell." Jesus didn't know about hell at this point. There was no whatever. There was nothing written, so he's just like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> 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 Just I can't like believe okay. I feel like I'm on a show with two demons, man. I really, I really do. This is like bad. You know, you, you yeah, guys animals, are all you guys are all so hook, hook, man. <laughs> you, you, you guys, I don't know what happened to both these, but the, the evil spirit entered you, man. No, you both no. Are terrible, cat's, man. cat's a good, good judge of character. Look at this cat, how much it loves me. It knows my nature inside is beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. Only cats well, know that because cats aren't secretly demonic yeah. or yeah. Have their and own cats were very either, either, cats were very or, you know. cats were very like into the Egyptian that cats yeah were the Egyptians worship them as gods. They're they're probably yes. the OG yes. aliens. Well, well, you know, we well, all worship uh, pussy uh, as a god. Like, weren't cats like in the Egyptian days known to yeah. like go into the underworld and go back and yes. you know back and yeah. back and yeah. Yeah, they were aliens. But that's not that's a story for next episode. We're out of time, guys. Yeah, and hopefully next week, Jimmy will go do some research and study and give us the answer to the question that we asked. You know, yes. Lee, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to do some do research. Do some research. Yeah, some and look into it. There is, there is some I, rumors I, I, about I, I, him Jesus and Mary. I'm there starting is, to that's realize. That's the title of that episode. But there are, st- Kyle and you, there is some stories about Jesus and Mary Magdalene did have a child. And they're actually looking to see whether the DNA can be traced to see whether Jesus did have a child. It's just been going on forever. You've never heard of it, Jimmy? I, I, I have heard of it, yeah. I've seen well, look into it. Look it. into it. The next you know, week wasn't we wasn't that movie answer. with Tom Hanks, Angels of Demons? Wasn't that girl a descendant of uh, Jesus? The, the... Could have been. Well, it could have been. Look, if, if it's in the movies, it's happened because they always imitate life. Well, life imitates art, one or the other, who knows? But yeah, you know, like just just look into it because Jimmy, we need to know what you think about no, it. No, movies are satanic and they t- they tell you oh, they tell you go. shit you they, oh, <laughs> they tell you shit that's gonna that's gonna happen before it's all it's all evil. All, all, all Hollywood, that, Hollywood is totally evil. Arcs muscle confessions at gmail.com. Send in your confessions. Thank you for some amazing. Let us know in the <laughs> comments. Was, I, I want to put here. up a poll, Tyler. Is Jesus was he a virgin or not? Put it in the comments. Was it? We'll make it the episode poll. title. We'll do it. We shall Wait, see. I want to say something before we get off. Oh, you know, you want right. to say Close it. Out, Jimmy. I want to talk to the fans. Yeah. And uh, I want to apologize for the satanic, uh, <laughs> you know, the, you know, uh, shit that's going on here. But please like and subscribe and, and please write in. We got on the bottom of the screen there, write in your confessions so we can talk about your confessions. And, uh, and get Jimmy, never answered, Jimmy never answered the question. I'm shocked. And, get, and, get and I'm going to come back with some answers for you next week, Lee, I promise. No, In the meantime, nice. I'm going to light I'm going to light a candle tonight before I go to bed and I'm going to pray for you and Tyler. Yeah, yeah. You want okay? to fall over and burn your house down. It might. Because I got the devil after me, too. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, anyway, Shindan, I love the both of you. Thank you. Say, love you, Jimmy. I want to say good night to all the fans. God bless you. Health and wealth. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and, and be safe and, uh, and, and and all of that. And I love everybody. <laughs> good night. We love, we love you, everyone. Even Sleep if we continue tight. to hell. See you next week. Love you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>